Last time on Chicory a Colorful Tale, we finished two, three, three of the four trials, the wielder trials. We were looking for the next new area when we stumbled upon this adorable beach. Peppermint, this character right here, made us fan art. And I was losing my mind over that a little bit. We're still collecting garbage. We're still, um, collecting lost children. That's why I love indie games. They're so creative. I've never played anything quite like this. So we're gonna talk to every NPC in this town. This town called Brecky. And then we're gonna go to the next trial. What a surprise to see all the color gone today. I think there's something beautiful about a blank world. A huge canvas for us to fill however we want again. Feels like a new beginning. Color or no? Life goes on, I guess. Maybe it's okay to leave it blank. Feels strange, but maybe we're just not used to it yet. You want me to leave it blank? But I really like painting. I just gotta do a little bit of decorating. You don't mind, do you? Uh, grab this litter. Go up on this roof. Doesn't it look like this is a Human. box we can, like, go There's in? so many. Are they friendly, Kara? The people here? Hi, Squid. <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna fit right in. You're gonna fit right in. Welcome, welcome. We found this shell tea last time and this monocle. We'll keep them for now, but, um, eventually gonna have to change our get up oh that's why it wasn't letting me it wasn't letting me out of the wall nope I want to make this fox orange cute not played it it's um it's like a coloring book in a game in game format you've got these little stamps um, and you've got your paintbrush, and each area has a new set of colors you can use. Almost didn't even explain the pocket friends. What, what explanation do they really need? <laughs> Very soothing, and it has a really great message, um, touches on some mental health topics. Yeah, we're, we're loving it. I'm loving introducing people to it as well. I feel like it's such a hidden gem. Hey. This is Tayaki. Uh, hi. Did you just break into my room through the ceiling? Are you a fan of my streams? Hey. Oh, you don't know who I am, do you? Sorry, haha. <laughs> I feel awkward when I'm not on camera. Oh my god, look, it's a Twitch streamer. I promise I'm less awkward on stream. You should tune in sometime. I'm trying to get more subscribers. I'm sorry, I can't really chat more. I'm actually in the middle of a stream right now. Me too. <laughs> Meta. Okay, I love your channel. I'm your biggest fan. How do I subscribe? I have to break back out through your ceiling though. That's kind of awkward. We met this couple, uh, oh, I guess they're not a couple. We met these characters last time. The sloth lives here. The ram goat does not. She's visiting from the city. Violacious welcome in. Every late night phone call right there, <laughs> yeah. Cute fox, subscribe now. We're gonna paint some buildings and then, uh, Find our next NPC. Oh, the otter. This is Oyster. Been working on this sandcastle all day. I don't even know why. I just got really into it. You like it? Yeah, I love it. Thanks. I really want to be a pop singer. I'd be getting ready for a big audition, but some bad news came today, and it seems like that's on hold. I didn't know how to process it, and now I'm here building a sandcastle. And trying not to think about it. Until a stranger comes along and talks to me, I guess. 
I know it's gonna be okay. I know I can try again, in theory. But it's hard to keep feeling that when all you have in front of you is rejection. I'm trying to stay positive. I just want that chance so bad. Sorry for dumping my life story on you. No, it's okay, I'm here for you. You're processing the rejection and the bad news through making this cute little sandcastle. Okay, I wanted this to stay that color and the otter can be green. We can pretty much color anything. Yeah, Kaiju. Um, we couldn't color the water in the beginning. Like, we could put paint in the waves, but it wouldn't stick. And now it sticks because we gained that ability um, from our trials. Pretty much, that's it though. You can, yeah, you can paint anything you want. I was trying to make that two-toned, and I was failing. Well, let's do this. Okay. You have matching tees. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't no notice that. We're buds. <laughs> Another otter opportunity. That one's a pretty big stretch soul. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we get to design the logo for this place. That's something they ask us to do sometimes. Sit at the little bench first. Hi! Curry! You're Seafood the Wielder, right? I'm, well... Let's just say I run this sweet shop. Yes. Let's just say that. Got time for a little side quest? Wanna design an extra special sweet for me? Of course. I can create sweets in any shape at all. Make the most wild, delicious thing you can imagine on this plate. Oh, <gasps> yes! Um, I actually don't know if this is on Switch. I think so. I should know. I feel like we've talked about it, but maybe not. We gotta make ice cream. <laughs> we've been talking about ice cream. Should we make a cookie cat? <laughs> Let's make some mint chip. And then we'll put a cookie cat on top. Oh, actually, yeah, scoops. Um, some chocolate. Some chocolate chips. Everyone in town is going to be eating this. Hi, Tilted. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. It's good to see you. Uh, I need to color in this bowl. Right? Gotta fill it in. Oh, actually, I, I can just... Yeah, I should have done that. Whoops. Where is my heart? Oh, nope, nope, too much. There we go. I feel like I should fill in behind these scoops with more scoops. Like, I should have made some scoops first and then put the green ones on top, you know? Oh, 
Ooh, we should make a cherry. Yes, absolutely. like this? It looks kind of weird. You could place one or two scoops in front of the mint ones. I think I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have to do that, yeah. Because I don't like that, I don't like that color for another ice cream color. We could, we could do this as maybe a slightly different green. Nope, it looks the same. But now we lose the circle shape. I just want so many scoops. If you make this bigger, oh wow. All right, forget it. We're doing Cookie Cat now. Just off to the side here. Oh, no, 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 no. Two scoops of a different color in front. Hail hey, cookie cat. Um, maybe. I don't know. I'm having trouble doing the outline of Cookie Cat tilted to the side, too. Oh, oh god. I didn't mean to undo that part! If I start fussing with it too much, then we'll be here forever. Changed my mind. I want this color instead. <laughs> oh, I have a ruler too. I can draw straight straight lines with the ruler. I forgot about that. Thank you, asleep. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, no, I'm not done yet. Speaking of cats, I can't wait until I have extra money to spend. I wanna try the game Stray. Yes, I highly recommend. It's really good. I hope you like it. Um, I hope you get the chance to play it soon. Okay, now we're gonna do... Don't we have a star? But I think the star is too big to put as the eyes because... It just doesn't make it that tiny. <laughs> Stray is Duncan approved, yes. It's very, very good, yes. It's so cute. Um, does Cookie Cat the pin have whiskers? No. Oh, and a cherry! Let's do this color. Um, like that. Oh. That's the smallest I can do? I want a little circle. Okay, close enough. We'll give it a red, uh, orange stem. <laughs> that does not look like a cherry. Do maraschino cherries on ice cream usually still have their stems? They do, right? What about this color for a stem? I don't like it. <laughs> I 
No? Maybe? Sometimes? Hi, Julia. Welcome in. Okay, I like that. That's looking good. Um... Now we want to add some sparkles. <laughs> well, we already have yellow. Let's do this light orange. Sparkles, not sprinkles. We want people to order this ice cream and be like, whoa, it's glowing. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wow. Folks are going to love this thing. Let me whip up a bunch. Yeah, okay. <gasps> Look at it. Phew. Looks beautiful. Thanks. I like it. Here's our favorite adult. He hello, fellow adult. After a busy day of eating grown-up vegetables, we er I am enjoying a tasty sweet. It's very responsible and adult of me. I am allowed to do this as much and as many times as I want because my mom doesn't make the rules anymore. Ha ha have a nice day. <laughs> Hi, peppermint. Wow, this sweet is so handsome looking. I can't bring myself to eat it. I've just been staring at it forever. I didn't know sweets could look so good. Now I'll be disappointed to eat anything else. I'm sorry to disappoint. Cool outfit. Okay, we're done here. Maybe. Making colorful sweets is fresh technology. It's all thanks to Dr. Cheese's research. You've got to meet her sometime. Her lab is just north of here. As for how I make the sweets into any shape, well, that secret is mine and mine alone. Oh, did you want to change your sweet? Not right now. Adults, not a food. Hi, Highland. Welcome in. If I ordered a sundae and it was ice cream with an ice cream sandwich, I think I would love it. Me too. Glowing cookie cat mint chocolate chip ice cream bowl with a cherry on top, please. Can deliver. Look, it looks cute on the sign. I could have made it a little bigger. My one critique of my own art. Let's go find some more friends. There was somebody on the beach over here, right? Yeah. Slushy. Ah, the sun. The waves. Being here, it's making me feel so... Thirsty! I need me a sweet cold fizz, pronto. But on the other hand... How can I leave this perfect spot? Hmm, I have an idea. What if you threw a beach party? If you put down lots of decor and attract people here, someone is sure to bring some fizz. Hurry. I love putting down decor. Why is edit human skin colors never look right after a real after looking at a real human? Like well, what do you mean, squid? When you try to use a, a um, crayon color, or paintbrush color, or Microsoft Paint color, it's they never get a. There's there's never one that's quite right. She's bopping again, yeah. Let's put down some. Uh, oh wait, I need some shades for this beach party. Where are my giant sunglasses? Do we want these ones or? These tinted ones are cool. Let's do that. And then decor. We have some weird stuff over here. Books. I used all my cool decor elsewhere. 
our antique decor. We need to get some more stuff. We could set up a painting station by the beach, though. That's nice. A giant paint tube. Uh, still life. Here, you're thirsty? Have some fruit. <laughs> uh, editing a skin color that looks human, and I looked over to you at stream and then back and was like, oh no, gotcha. This game looks like the type of game to be very short, but has surprising amount of content. It's a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it has, um, you, you can, you can get distracted as long as you want at different little side quests and things. It's nice. I think we'll put this next to the easel. Uh, I think I can paint the hermit crabs. Oh, not in this menu though. After I'm done decorating, I can. There's no walls here for me to, um... Oh, we could put the couch on the beach! Haha. <laughs> Beach couch. I would just paint for hours, yep. Oh, and the coolest part is that your map shows everything you've painted. So if you want to go super detailed with all the screens, you can, and they all have different color palettes. That's where I would get lost for hours. Forgot my shoes. Oh, it's always awful when you have to walk barefoot in the sand for the first bit. It's so painful. The super hot sand. Um, I only have this fluffy heart rug, I think. No, we should have another rug. We did have a sunshine rug, but I used it elsewhere. I don't remember where it is. What about this house rug? kind of cute. Little rugs for people to sit on by the water. I don't have any more sound systems. I have one lamp. You put this weird flower thing? Flower stand? It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, and the hermit crabs. Got him. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, is this enough stuff? Oh, this is it! This looks enough like a beach party to me. I bet loads of people will come soon. Hopefully with Fizz. A crowd of people will show up with Fizz any moment now. I'm sure of it. Okay, I gotta leave and come back, I think. <gasps> Look at all the people! <gasps> oh, this is pistachio. They, they're they supposed to give us a cool item. Hey, that thing I was making for you, it's finally ready! Here you go! Doo -doo -doo. It's a mascot head? It's kind of creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> oh no! Um, yeah. I've been getting into sewing lately, and for some reason I was inspired to make that. It was fun to put together. Hope it's not too weird. Heh. <laughs> it's pretty weird, dude. I don't like it. But, I'm not- I'm- I- let's- <laughs> Let's change. Where was the other thing I was wearing? The shell shirt? I put it on so you could see me try it out, but I'm not into it. There we go. The party popped off quick, yeah. Gummy, welcome in, how's it going? You would wear that? I like the little headband. I don't know that I would wear the shell tee. Maybe, if it was comfy for the beach and nice and breezy. I'm so glad I came here. The sounds of the ocean, the sand between my toes. I really needed this. What a lovely beach. He's always telling me I should get out more. 
It's hard to get the motivation to leave home, but now that I'm here, I don't want to leave. Such a nice way to spend the afternoon. Thanks for setting this up. Pickles here! This is a pee cool beach party. It's got it all. Water. Sand. Random miscellaneous furniture. It's all here. Love to beach. Sunshine, sunshine, it's fine. <laughs> Did anyone bring, bring fizz? Just like I dreamed. But nobody brought any fizz. My perfect plan brought to ruins. Well, at least there's a kick and beach party now. Maybe this beanie is why I'm so hot. I guess that's the price you pay for style. Fair. Should go to the beach, it's been a while. Yeah, same. <gasps> New guests! P is here. Oh yeah, this is nice. I needed to get out into the sun. Thanks for setting up this cool little area. Mmm, this is nice. My head's been full of so much crap these days. Worries and doubts and stresses. Being here, it's like that stuff is washing away into the ocean. At least for a while. Oh, I got stuck. Hey, stranger. I realized I should probably get out of the swamp more. So here I am. Someone said there was a party here, so I was like, maybe I'll check that out. And now I'm like, whoa. This is so nice. I really like the weird smell of my swamp, but it's nice to breathe a clear sea breeze now and then. Thanks, Raisin. Here, have some ocean waves. Beautiful. Let's go swimming! Whee! Oh, the doggy paddle is so cute. I meant to do this. The little fish are gonna follow us around. So many fish! It's about two and a half hours to the nearest beach for me, yeah. It's not a- it's not a quick trip for me. Uh, for Lake Beach, still, I don't know how many hours, but Ocean Beach? Nowhere in sight. Let me get some more waves. Oh, I guess there was another NPC that we didn't talk to. There was somebody else in the town. That's as far as we can go that way. I need to see my mom and little brother tomorrow. It's a three hour drive. Oh, that'll be nice to see them, hopefully. That's good. It's a long drive. What's this area? A bunch of trash. Can I swim up this wall? I can. I think the lakes have mostly dried up. I don't want to go. It will be depressing. Oh, for me, it's, um, Great Lakes, so they don't really dry up, but still a long drive. And yeah, not as fun if you're, like, near a, a lake you're used to seeing a lot higher and fuller, and it's kind of looking sad and, and droughty. Great Lakes, yeah. Okay, we got a lost kid over here. Is this a shortcut? 
Oh, what's this? Um. Yeah, great legs aren't going anywhere. Nope. <laughs> Pretty lucky there's 30 legs within 30 minutes. Nice. You live around them too? Heck yeah. I am usually just telling people, like, as far as location goes on Twitch, I'm in the Midwest. I am near... I am in the Great Lakes region. <laughs> and, uh... That's about as specific as we get. Also, uh, like, you know, I'm Eastern Time Zone, so that narrows it down, but... Anyway, let's see who lives here. Streaming from underneath the lake, yeah. <laughs> is this Dr. Cheese? Why is this a cr crow in an Among Us costume? Let's put on our scientist outfit, though. I like this music. Well, well, well. I was wondering when you'd find your way here. I'm Dr. Cheese, a scientist. I study all sorts of things, but I'm probably best known for my color theories. So you can imagine, I've been quite excited to meet you. That brush of yours is a really special thing. But through our research, we found ways to replicate color and potentially make new ones too. Well, that's still just a theory. A color theory. Still, we would love to collaborate with you. If our theory is correct, we could make a brush style that lets you create your own colors. That's so cool. Hi, Jim. Hi, Rickardin. A peach brie? <laughs> Cash is the imposter. Okay, we haven't even talked to them yet. It's still a prototype, but would you be interested in making your own colors? Yeah, sounds cool. I thought you might. <laughs> First, you'll need to design the colors you want. I'll let you tinker away. Cool. No, I'm not finished. How does this work? Okay, I don't think controller works for this. I need mouse and keyboard. Color science! Oh my gosh, this is, we're gonna be here forever! Alright, color theory lessons. What is it when you add black to a color? What is it when you add white to a color? Saturation is the amount of... Saturation is different from pigments, right? Like there's hue, tint, shade. Is it just those three? This is... This is shade when you add black, right? This is so pretty. Okay, I need this hot pink in my life. Magic. <laughs> Sweats on to PA, I got years ago. I like this pale blue color. Oh, you can make it kind of a gray-blue. I do like this, okay. A dark green, do we want a warm green or a cool green? Or more of a true green or like a sagey, olivey color? Do they all, do we want them to all work as a set together or should we just pick all of our faves? I'm 
kind of liking this vibe. I can talk about music theory. My color theory is not nearly as good. Gotcha. That's awesome. I took me uh I took music theory in high school and then I took AP music theory and I was all caught up on it a long time ago, but it's been a minute since I um did any composing or testing or like analyzing. I feel like our our class was mostly like memorization of chords. It was an AP at my high school, yeah. We were lucky to have it. Major 7 is good stuff, mm-hmm. First stream I've caught in months, so I really have no idea what this game is, but I'm going along for the ride. It's a good game to just go along for the ride. No context needed. We're playing with colors. <laughs> Dr. Cheese's thesis was exper experimental? I don't get that one. <laughs> Song flute was about what we had at my high school. Gotcha. Took college music theory class a couple years ago. I want to take the rest of the series, but it's only available while I'm working. Dang. I'm, I'm so curious what it would be like to take at a college level. We, we also had to do a lot of memorization of songs. You'd hear it, and then you'd have to know the era, because we did some music history mixed in too. Composer was a different thing. That was a different class. 20 APs in high school, never knew music theory is an AP. Yeah. Used to take piano lessons. That's awesome. Same for a long time. When I was a kid. Oh, look at this beautiful yellow. I want it just a little bit warmer. Like that. A little bit. I don't know. I like these four. Piano stream when? We actually did a piano stream quite a long time ago. I did a piano stream and a guitar stream. Twitch made it so hard to do music unless you write your own. Um, Twitch sings we did a few times, but um, piano I did covers. Covers is okay, is, is okay and still doable. But that was like two, over two years ago. <laughs> Color of big smiles. Yeah, I um, I sing and I play piano and a little bit of guitar, but not like recently, not actively. I grew up playing piano though. That was my, that was my jam. Let's get a... Oh, I like that. Salmon y color. I was thinking we needed an orange, though. What happens if I click this again? It doesn't add to that palette, right? No. Now I know the Wilder song. That was so much fun. Gosh, I can't believe they have that in this game. Okay, these are all very vibrant, very bright colors, not super muted. Do we want like a like a brown or a black or a white? Or a gray? We haven't painted with any gray, really. I mean, why? When you have so much joyous color in this game. Add the Chicory Spotify uh, playlist on Spotify, definitely. I still need to do that too. Oh, I like that. What are we? What are we missing here? We don't have a red. We could do like a maroon, maybe. Is this sort of a plum? Oh, I kind of like that. How do we feel about this palette? I think I'm digging it. I want to know what happens. I want to sing with a friend on top of a mountain at some point. Do it. Me too. 
I used to sing and listen to music with a friend after school. Her name is S. We'll call her S and she enjoyed that time together. Mm hmm I love, I have so many good memories of like singing, singing in the car by myself, singing in the car with friends on road trips. Um, dance parties. I used to love the high school dances, but like we would go to somebody's house and just blast music and dance. We do have a great, yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, we're going to process these colors into a brush style. The experiment was a success. Doo -doo -doo. Need clarinet accompaniment. I'm in the process of learning game themes. Oh, that's awesome. If you turn that brush style on, you'll be able to paint with your custom colors. Once it's on, you can combine it with different styles, too. We can update the colors here anytime. I'd encourage you to go test it anywhere you can. <gasps> so many colors! Now I'll never be without a bright yellow. Good. Oh, I love it. And our custom brush. Okay, this is perfect. Like, somebody made me, this game made me pick my top, whatever this is, six colors on this spot. And I thought, oh, I'm just gonna pick stuff, but no, this is pretty spot on, Jen. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, I appreciate it. Uh, whisper on Twitch for the the Spotify playlist or oh okay cool oh I actually I, I can carry them over to the stamps but I cannot use just the regular base brush with the new colors let's talk to Cashew hi I'm Dr. Cheese's assistant I collect color samples for her study, mostly from the colors you've been leaving around picnic. I help around uh, at the lab sometimes too. There's never a dull moment here. It's the cutting edge of color research. Science! Dr. Cheese is really incredible. She was doing groundbreaking research while still in school. I came up studying those papers, so it's a real privilege to work closely with her. Are you familiar much with Dr. Cheese's work? She was the one to theorize the existence of primary colors, red, green, and blue. That's what we have suspended here in the lab. Apparently their combinations produce all other known colors. Isn't that fascinating? RGB, we're gamers here. If that didn't blow your mind already, get ready. We found that black is the absence of three primaries and white is the maximum of all three. So the default state of the world is simply at those extremes. That means when you use your brush, you're not adding color, you're actually pulling apart the fabric of color that's already there. Revealing the hidden grad, uh, grad, gradations, gradations between white and black. We're learning. <laughs> the current goal of Dr. Cheese's research is synthesizing that splitting of red, green, and blue your brush does. Some say she's toying with the natural order, playing God with dark forces. But you can't say it isn't exciting. We're adventuring into the unknowns of the universe. I love it. Semi, hello, welcome in. Matt, hello, welcome in. Call me crazy, but isn't it red, yellow, blue? It's pigment. No, light. RGB is light. Red, yellow, blue is pigment paint but then printer ink is cyan magenta and yellow anyway <laughs> playing god with rgb <laughs> uh, don't know what i would have done without music especially the last two years yeah 
I never thought I'd see the day. We're one step closer to making new color without a brush. This prototype alone pushed our research forward by years. Thank you very much. Oh, did you want to update your colors? No, I love them the way they are. They're perfect. We are just... We're a force to be reckoned with now with all these colors. I love it. The other brush style I'm thinking of, this one... Or this one helps us do straight lines. Oh, that was weird. This one helps us do straight lines. This one's the spray spray paint. This is wiggly lines. Maybe I'll just do the spray paint one? I support a craft creative habit. It's a little weird, but I'm currently building a set of stocks for a renaissance fair party my roommate hosts each year, and it's been a true gift during a stressful time. Totally recommend. I like that. Beware my colors. So now... Oh, cool. <laughs> This is going to be really fun. Color chaos. Hi, Zari. Welcome in. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Sorry. Oh. There wasn't anywhere else we could go up here, right? Can we climb this wall? No. It doesn't appear that we can. Ari, okay, thank you. I hope you're having a good Tuesday, a good time zone. <gasps> Who are you? Oh yeah, Karkala. Hey, I came to check out your art here. It's amazing how much your color adds. So much energy. It's like you brought this place to life. Thanks. I kind of just spray painted everywhere. <laughs> We're still learning. We're still learning how all this works. Brunch Canyon. Okay, this is the next, this is the last trial. I would like to go finish talking to everybody at the beach. I think this is as far as the map goes too, yep. We can't climb this, right? No. I love how easy it is to tell if you've been on a screen before too. You know instantly. Oh, beautiful. Is this a leaf? Or a poop emoji? <laughs> Do we get to put Korok seeds all over the map? <laughs> You tell me, what does this look like to you? <laughs> okay, never mind, it makes the noise. <laughs> Why is that so entertaining? <laughs> Bonus points if you use that brush tile in any future fights. I don't think the boss fight rooms usually let us change brush style, but if I can. Also, I don't know. Well, we'll probably have at least one more boss before we beat the game. Okay, let's go get this lost kid. 
Wait, are you not in this tree? Oh, you're in this rock. Gotcha. Alright. And then the last clue we have for buried treasure is this one by the swamp. I did three trials, yes. Swimming through paint is reminding me of Splatoon, yes. This came out, I, well, not came out, I decided to play it at a good time. Right near the Splatoon 3 release, similar vibes. Hi Porcus, welcome in. This game is a delight. I love it so much. We just got a whole new palette of colors I'm super excited about. Oh, but I can't use... Hmm. Well... <laughs> we gotta place our um, Korok seeds. We can't forget. Pancake! Do you ever pay much attention to the bugs? I love watching them. Like these butterflies. Thank you for tier two. I appreciate you. Speaking of singing, mom, thank you for 30 months. Tier two, welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. Your tier two emote, Jen the Vulcan. Um, we're so glad to have you, of course, all the love. You should play Slime Ranger. Oh my gosh, I am gummy. I'm all over it. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm glad you bring it up because we're like trying to finish this and tr maybe trying to finish oh, Subnautica so many. below zero in time here? for the release so I can just go all out with Slime <laughs> Don't Rancher. Worry, you're gonna fit right in. They float around so free and peaceful. You ever notice how they like to land on colored flowers? Do butterflies not land unless I paint the the plants? No, I never noticed that. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's right. Earthbound has a similar thing. I forgot about that. Valkyrie-ish this year. Maybe old-timey Aloy. Oh, you're talking cosplay? Costumes? Some days are really hard. Sometimes it feels like my mind is bouncing everywhere and I just can't keep it together. But when I watch bugs, it centers me again. It helps to focus on something real in front of me, rather than all the anxiety in my brain. Picnic's full of lots of living things, big and small. It's important to pay attention and be aware of one another. That's how we can all coexist peacefully. Of course, the world's even bigger than Picnic, isn't it? Lots of people live in the big drink and beyond. I've heard there's even an underground bug province. I bet that would be amazing to see. It is! I want to take you there! The grub caverns. Hello. You seem cool. This is gelato. How do you like my photo gallery? I took them all when I was younger. I used to be quite the adventurer, you know. Not so much these days, heh <laughs> But if I'm being honest, they really lost something in the color wipe. My photos depicted picnic in a lush, colorful place. Now they're all black and white. I don't want to remember picnic that way. Please, if you're in any of these places, can you take a new photo for me? Preferably with lots of new color. I'd love to see what Picnic looks like now. Aww. When did I get so old? Life can crawl by so slowly. But when you look back, it's like it all happened at once. I'm grateful for the adventures I got to go on. Does it save these? To my journal? This is in, um... 
Yeah, I want to save this. Dinners, I think? This is maybe supper woods, possibly? This is... Is this a, that mountaintop place that I couldn't figure out to how to get all the clues to solve the mystery? This looks like Sips River. Oh, and this is the academy. We saved him. Young Gelato! Yeah, these are all cute little selfies. Hi, Gelato. Let's do a neutral background with all of our peace sign stamps. I should put these in rainbow order. But I'm just winging it. There. Oh, you're watching the butterfly! Huh. Alright, should we go to the next trial? I think we talked to everyone. This is cantaloupe. Um, we need to swim north. Hi, Chicory. Check out my cool new colors. Seafood. This is going to be a tough trial for me, I think. What's the matter? This was the last one I did. The theme is Master Passing On to a Student. Um, and did it go so great for me? It was the last time I ever spoke to Blackberry. Hate to bring up my age old drama, but I'm sure that's why this place got so messed up. We're gonna have to face it together. Follow this river up to its source. Oh, follow this river up to its source. <laughs> That's it. I thought that she was gonna add to that. I can barely see with all the fog. I wanna see what palette it gave us for this area. Gray! I was just saying how it hadn't given us any grays, but this area did. It's kind of cool looking. I think if we go this way, we can get to this piece of trash. Doo -doo -doo. Gonna head off to bed, have fun, rest of the stream, and see you next time. Okay, Dax, and sleep well. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging with us. We'll keep looking for new colors. I can climb up here too. Huh. I wonder if the fog clears once you finish this trial. So hard to see. I can climb this. But that's it. I can't really go anywhere else from there. Oh no. Oh, I see. How do I get to that trash? Weird. Hi, Siloom. Welcome in. 
kind of want my other palette now. These colors are so dark. Need some yellow. What other brushes do I have? Okay, we're gonna replace the Korok seed brush. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be I'll be making brush fart noises all over the the world of picnic. I guess I can't go to the right here? I thought I could. It looked like there was a ledge. Can I go this way? Yeah. Wow. Is it really hard for you all to see too, or just me? Look, we can go all the way over here. Oh, this is how we get it. Yay! A mask! Oh, it's got a little paw print on it. It goes with the scientist. It looks like a surgical mask. Our little scientist lab coat and surgical mask. I think that's all there is to do on this screen. Maybe. Can we keep going this way? Before the darkness overtakes everything? Okay. Oh, finally, I got out of there. Dr. Seafood is ready to operate. We're scrubbed in. Somebody's being very loud with their car outside. Hopefully you can't hear it. Ooh, I like the maroon for this area. Oh, that's- I didn't want the water to be maroon. I liked the water this color. Okay, where do these vines go? Huh. Oh, and we can go in the water too. What's over here? I don't think I can swim in this. Ooh, it eats us! Oh, I got stuck. There we go. Horns. Interesting. We're like a little, um, what kind of a creature is Puck? Let's do some purple water, and some orange land, and some gray, oh cool, and some pink. This area got scary. How do I get out of there? Okay. So now I gotta run across. Now I'm safe on this ledge.
creepy noises again. Go across, and we're safe. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Do we have to go up here? Hard to tell. Huh. Oh wait, what's over here? Litter. A present. Okay, these go with the lab coat also. And we want to blow these rocks apart. No, wait, I would go back. <laughs> oh, a house. Oh, is this a shortcut? Hey, spinach. Desert Mountain still has a bunch of litter. Okay, thank you. Now we're back by dinners. Nice. Oh, hi, Karkala. I came to check out your art here. It's amazing how much your color adds. So much energy. It's like you brought this place to life. Thank you. I feel like I need to put a yellow peace sign everywhere. That's my signature to to tell people that seafood was here. Okay, so we got a shortcut and a gift. Now we need to go back to figuring out this screen. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, we made it. It's very dark up here. The end is just ahead, Seafood. You'll have to face the corruption. One of those things only the brush can fight. Sorry. Just go ahead when you're ready. Chicory, what exactly happened between you and Blackberry? I'll tell you if you really want to know. Content warning, discussion of emotionally abusive relationships and disparagement of mental illness. That is a big one. I will, if we could get an announcement in chat and we will let you know when the scene has passed, but Chicory's gonna tell us what happened between her mentor and her and clearly it didn't go well when she was in her training. So, um, I'm really glad they do these. The only thing about the content warnings in this game is they don't internally tell you, like, the dialogue's over. You have to figure it out on your own. Like, is that... Are we done with the cutscene? Is there gonna be more? Thank you, Eric. Okay. Let's find out what happened. It'll ask... It asks us, too, if we want to continue. Uh, usually. Yeah. I looked up to Blackberry basically my whole life. Training and training with her was a dream come true. I'd say we even became friends. I was so desperate to please her, but that meant I had to be perfect. Any sign of weakness could have been the end to my dream to wield. So I hid myself from her. Always pretended to be fine, even with no one else to talk to. And I basically got away with it until this trial, my very last one. Blackberry knew something was up. She just pretended not to, until she actually had to relinquish the brush. Here. That's when everything came out. All her doubts about me. This was supposed to be a simple final step, but she was suddenly threatening to take the brush back. I felt so betrayed. After everything, after coming so close, 
It got very heated. She tried to pull the brush out of my hands. I fought back, and then... Something grew. Here. It was the first time I'd seen those black trees. We haven't spoken since then. I ran away with the brush. I was sure I could keep it under control. Sure it would never happen again. Guess we all know how that went. So that's how all this started. And that's how all this stuff grew here. It's... it's all my fault. But it's not just you, Chicory. Things have come from me too. It's the brush. Maybe the brush is what made it real, but I wish I'd been stronger. I let all this grow inside me. Seeing how corrupted it is here, it's like I'm surrounded by my own mistakes. That's not being fair to yourself. Blackberry should have been there for you. Nobody can be perfect. That shouldn't have come between you and being the wielder. I think Blackberry knew this could happen. If someone unstable wielded the brush, it reaches into you and makes all this stuff real, good or bad. Maybe it wasn't fair to me, but, well, life wasn't fair to me. I can't function the way normal people do, and I just have to live with that. Probably shouldn't have been the wielder ever, but you were a great wielder. Maybe if you'd had more support, this would have, this wouldn't have come from the brush. But Blackberry made that possible for you. Impossible. Sorry, I'm having trouble reading through this. Um, I wish someone had been there for you, Chicory. I wish things had been different too. I wish I didn't need help. I wanted to do it all myself. Like Blackberry did. But I let everyone down. Sorry, I'm... I'm not in a good place here. I know you're trying to help, and you're probably right. That it wasn't all just my fault, but I don't think I can do this right now. Just go on ahead. Oh, okay. I'm sorry all this happened to you, Chicory. I hope facing this helps a little bit. Okay, the scene is over. I want to paint this... Purple? That looks cool. Can I go this direction at all? No, I think I just have to swim up ahead. Or call home. <gasps> there it is! The source! Scary. Need some yellow. Chicory needs a hug. Okay, this is very pretty in here. I feel like for our finer our final wielder trial we should wear the wielder cape wherever it is. Fast change. There it is, the cloak. Porcus, thank you for thanking the mods. They're crushing it. And there's a wielder head wrap or something. Ooh, but look at our cute mushroom hat. <laughs> Wielder wrap. Oh, I like the mushroom hat better. Let's go all out. <laughs> what are these orb things? Oh, and mascot head. No, the mascot head was creepy. <laughs> Whoa. It burnt the brush.
You can burn these leaves. We're burning down this room! I don't know why. Do we need to burn these leaf piles? Oh yeah, because this is the exit. I hadn't even tried to walk forward yet. It doesn't let you burn the ones up on the ledge, but... Huh. Oh, you can't carry it around the, um, the water. It goes out when you go over water. Cool. We can swim in here, right? But I don't think I can progress. Oh, no, I can go up on this ledge, okay. Oops. Weird. Oh, I had to go up to this screen to clear that before I can get to it from the other side, okay. What about here? Is there an item on this screen or this is still more more leaves that I have to clear away? Having trouble with this one. No, I didn't mean to put the fire out. Oh, this one is really hard. enough stuff to burn. strange mechanic. No! I'm gonna have to do mouse and keyboard again. I, a lot of these mechanics want to be controller compatible, but they're just not. Okay, where are we? We're down here. I don't think I can get to this area. The music got incredibly intense. Oh, 
What is happening? Oh, okay. It calmed down for a second. Oh, if you exit the screen, the leaves do come back. So you can have another chance. Like, it's something about... When you release the brush... Um... I don't know. Needs precision, yeah. Especially this part, a lot more than most of the other puzzles in the beginning needed. But now... We should be able to walk up here. It does feel like it was designed for mouse and keyboard. Um, and I wasn't getting that in the very beginning, and the more we played it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm having a really hard time on controller. I think I was in awe of the accessibility options in the menu at the start of the game that I was thinking, you know, of course it's accessible for controller. There are some things I could change about the, the, how the controller feels, actually, that I didn't mess with in that menu. I could go in and see if any of those help, but at this point, I'm used to it, so I think it's gonna be okay. What is happening here? All the colors are getting snatched up. Who said I needed to bring the Korok seed into the boss fight? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, not yet. Oh. <laughs> After all this time, all that training, I'm just not good enough for you? Chicory, don't do this. I feel like this might be the same content warning as before, but they didn't readdress it, so I don't know. Proceed with caution. I can't take this anymore. I hate you, Blackberry. I need you out of my life. I'll be a wielder, with or without your blessing. Ooh, I hate it. Oh. Poor Chicory. Poor Blackberry. She's gone. I made a huge mistake. I should never have... How did I push her so far away? How could I let this happen? I... I'm a monster. Oh, you can bring this into the boss fight. Yes! I can't change the color, but I can change the brush! Okay, too much, Jen. Too much. <laughs> Rain it in. Thank you to whoever suggested that, though. <laughs> the pink is really pretty. Blackberry's signature color, I guess. She never understood what it really takes. Why I have to be this way. It's not my fault. She's weak. No, you pushed her really, really hard. She doesn't need to be perfect. Do, 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 do. 
Dang, we're really uh, coming in hard with the yellow paint. This music is fantastic. Let's get some dancing emotes in chat. That's a new attack. Okay, Stagger, it's not my fault. She should have listened to me. But then, why do I feel so guilty? Did I make her like this? Why couldn't I just fix this? Checkerboard attack! Oh, it got me. Whoa. Oh, you moved. Squares are tiny. Oh, that one's hard. That one's really hard to dodge. I wanted to help. I wanted to make her perfect. I wanted to be her friend. But she's gone. And I... I can't fix it. She's gone. She's... gone. <sighs> the brush! It gave me chills. Seafood! Seafood, wake up! Oh, thank goodness. I caught you washing down the river. Thought for a second that... Well, I'm glad you're okay. If you were hurt because of me, I don't know what I... I'm okay, I'm okay. But Chicory... It wasn't you in there. It was Blackberry. She... I think she feels terrible about what happened. Well, she has a real way of showing it. But I guess that means... It really is from the brush. Not just me. Not just you. If Blackberry's there too, it could mean... Every wielder through history is in there somewhere. Chicory, I think... You should talk to Blackberry. About what happened. She... If she has something to say to me, she can say it herself. Oh. Shoot. This is the trial I never really finished, so... I nearly forgot about the ritual at the end. Ritual? The theme of the trial is master passing on to student. You're supposed to earn the respect of your master. Me. And I'm supposed to formally accept you. Maybe with, like, a handshake or something? But did I earn your respect? Seafood. You... <laughs> you did way more than earn my respect. So much of this happened because... I didn't have anyone to talk to or anywhere to turn. But you've been there for me. You've got a strength that... I kind of admire. And I happily accept you. As my successor. Hug, 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 hug. Yes! <laughs> oh. 
Best friends. This is it, seafood. You've completed all the wielder trials. Do do do. Your bond with the brush. You now have full control of the brush. All your paint abilities are stronger. You can even swim up waterfalls. You're finally strong enough to face the corruption on top of the wielder tower. How do you feel? I'm not sure. I'm proud of you, seafood. All these corruptions should have been my problem alone, and facing them all made me want to give up. But you stood up to everything. I'm so glad you were here. I really don't deserve you. No, stop that. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'll be there to cheer for you when you're ready. Come meet me in luncheon. Ow, my heart. Are we all crying again? Bless this cute little game. And now we got some cute flute music. We can swim up waterfalls? Heck, that's awesome. Let's look at our map. There's very few places we have not been. And I'm guessing they're mostly related to waterfalls. What's this screen? How come we didn't do that? I feel like it was foggy, right? Let's go poke around up here just because maybe the fog's dispersed and we can see a little better. A flute version of the song you sung! Ow, that's too cute! This game is so good. Yeah, yeah, we want to keep going up the water. Up the waterfalls. Oh, but I can't, um... Interesting. It says our powers are stronger. Do we jump any further? No. I'm just curious about these screens we missed. To the right of here. Oh. This. Is it gonna go blank? While the map is open, do you think? You hear that nasty noise? Or does this, like, we're in pause, so it's just gonna stay like that? But that's why it's, it's not colored in, because of this corruption. I guess we can call it that. And then it fills back in, and then, yep, it goes back to white. Huh. Gnarly. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. Oof. Is there a waterfall? Oh, there's one here. Is there one behind the the evil root tree? There is. Let's go check this out. <gasps> A present. Need some brighter colors up here. Where's my pink? Okay, this I like. Now we can go get this present. <gasps> A crown! King Seafood! Yes. I 
I'm guessing I can't go up this other waterfall because we're at the top of the map. Yeah. Very good. And then I think we can go west of here from that other screen. Oh, oh, I'm in the darkness. Yeah, from here. This is that shortcut we found. Right, with the paint. Uh, the snowballs. Okay, and now we're back in dinners. <gasps> Hi! Hmm, I like your colors here. There's just something about it. It feels right. Thank you. I hope this helps. Did we ever go talk to this guy once we filled in all his graffiti tags? Okay, we're gonna side quest for a bit, in case anybody was wondering. We're not gonna go to the end right away. We have so many male side quests to do. Let's see what the next one is. This one is... Middle of three square houses. Do you think I can tell that from the map? Are these three square houses? Are these three square houses over in, uh, what's this town? Potluck? Maybe it's in Potluck. But it's- there, if this is the middle house right here, there's nobody that lives in there. I can't go into it. Let's see what the- yeah, let's see what the next one is. Save for later. Two screens north of Sips River Bridge. That's a lot easier. Okay, we'll start with that one then. Um, what else do we need to do in dinners? I don't know what else we need to do here. We did the house party thing. And I think we got most of the lost kids and trash here. Hey CG, welcome in. How are you? Oh, we have new um, secret spots. We have to take a picture of... This building. Is it this? I think it's this, right? Let's give it some cool new colors. Oh, I can't. That's right, I can't do that that way. No, that's not what I wanted! Oh well. Thank you for redeeming human kindness, sending human kindness for me, to you, to all the chat, to your friends, to everybody here. Sending good vibes, you are loved, you are worthy, you are appreciated, happy Tuesday. I hope that the rest of the week goes smoothly. And, um, sending all the peace to you. Thank you, CG. Oh, I really messed up with this brush situation. <laughs> I think we can do it like this. Yeah, I know, CG. I know, but it's not, like... I just, I mean, it's, it's, 
I'd be careful being like publicly sharing somebody's somebody else's business too and like bringing attention to it. But I'm definitely thinking of them. Okay, how are we liking this sidewalk situation? I think this is cute. We gotta take a picture to send to our friend. Um... Like this? Is this good? Oh, and we can change our pose. Little smile. Uh, that's cute. I want the sidewalk outside my house. I feel like I want Skittles, yeah. Bonus chicory stream, now I'm gonna have to go back and watch the VOD. Hi Jeffrey. We, we wanted to, I was having so much fun yesterday that I wanted to do another. And I wanted to try to finish it today because this game is so cute. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> this is the transit pass place. Um, I think we're good here. Let me look at this. How do I get to the Sips River from here? West? Yeah. And there's like a whole bunch of screens in the middle of the map now that I wonder if we have access to with our new powers. Let's not take the bus. One of your friends made local news last year for sidewalk art. That's really cool. Impressive. Sidewalk art's really beautiful. Ooh, this is a new screen. Okay, very saturated. I love it. This is fun. All these like mismatched colors here. Dr. Cheese should have never given us this many powers. Wee. Okay, what's over here? Hi, Trav. Welcome in. Happy Tuesday. It's good to see you. <gasps> Special spot. Bard. A bard with a crown. Cute. Oh, litter. It's so bright. Oh, I remember this music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. Off to see past Jen. Hope things are going well. Future self. Enjoy the VOD. Hi, VOD squad. <laughs> A feather. Cute. Is this one of the secret places? No. Okay. Tea time meadows. And there's a lost kid in here. Gotcha. 
Do do do. Okay, this is where we came in. And I think we already went up here? Yeah. That's where we came from. There's also a path. We need to take some art classes so we can fill in all of the portraits that we missed. <gasps> Luncheon is a mess right now. Dang, it got mad spooky up in here. And you're gonna fight it? Whoa. You are cooler than I gave you credit for. Remember all those people who supported you along the way? Like your old buddy, Pickle. Hey, <laughs> We're rooting for you. Dang, it's even scarier up close. You're a pretty incredible person to come fight this. On behalf of me and all the kids, thanks for doing what, what you are. Knowing someone's dealing with this makes it not so scary. Seafood, I won't forget what you did for me and Parsley. I'm so grateful to have a wielder who cares about us. I hope you'll be okay. Wow, those trees really went out of control. And I thought the swamp was rough. Seeing this makes me want to take a nap. Well, be careful. Hope you're okay. Thanks for doing this. I'm rooting for you! You're my hero, Seafood! Marching up to fight a giant corruption. It's so dreamy. You literally couldn't be any cooler. <sighs> I didn't know being the wielder would be so scary. I don't think I could do it. I just really like drawing. I hope you don't mess up and cause us all to die. Or anything like that. Thanks. Seafood, thank goodness you're here. Is it true you're going to fight the corruption? Oh, I hope you can fix it. I, I can't function like this anymore. To be honest, when I heard you were coming, I thought I'd bake something for you. But while I was taking it from the oven, I spotted a new tree limb growing straight into my kitchen. I screamed. And then I dropped everything on the floor. I'm so sorry. That's okay, Lemon. I'm so grateful to have a wielder who will help us. Thank you so much, Seafood. And, uh, don't die! <laughs> wow, so encouraging. Thank you for the hydrate, CG. Okay, we were not quite done exploring yet. Oh, it's so bright over here. cantaloupe. Mmm, plants. What a happy space. Makes me feel like a happy plant, too. Our seedlings are all grown up now. Lemon is a sweetheart. Mm-hmm. The NPCs are all such sweethearts. Oh, I think this is one of the places I need to take a picture of. Is this the Sips River Bridge? Oh, I can go up this waterfall now. Oh, we were able to go in here before, though. Huh, okay. Now we can break these rocks and have a shortcut. We can break all the rocks. 
Never thought I'd hear someone rejoice at seeing trash. It's a big deal in this game. <laughs> it's my favorite collectible. Because <laughs> you trade trash for plants. And then you can give everybody their own garden. But I just like collecting it anyway because it's fun. Almost as nice as a Korok seed. And that's how we get to Brecky. Here's more of Tea Time Meadows. Oh, hi, Pickle! Hey, sup. I came to check out your cool colors. I like how you filled this place up. It's probably better from what I could do, so like... Yeah, pretty good. You should still put in a good word for me, though. To be the next wielder, I mean. Wink. <laughs> Alright, Pickle, you're a shoe in And now we're back in Brecky. I wanna go see if... Oh wait, no, I switched the letters in the mail bag. Where are we going now? The Sips River Bridge? Oh, but look, there's an area right below us. And then we can go to Pollock. Look at all these people at the beach party! This is great! It's not like I needed an excuse to go to the beach, but you went and made it ten times better. The blank canvas here? Genius. I'll never go to the beach without my blank canvas again. Oh, this? Yeah, the one thing that I didn't paint. <laughs> I feel like there's a waterfall down here? Yes! And now we have the power. <gasps> Headphones? Oh, cute! Except it flattens our hair. Our hairstyle is way cooler. Now you can't see it. Oh, hi! <gasps> Trash. Oh, I, kn I didn't come down this path earlier, but we did have access to it. Welcome to work. Thank you for the host, Trav. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, who's this friend? Ah, seafood. You've made a lovely garden here. Were you inspired by mine? <laughs> I'm glad to see it. The world could use more gardens. Yeah, yours is awesome. I wanted to make one too, but mostly... Um... It was in honor of parsley. Okay, the ocean's beautiful, but I said after this we were going back to potluck, so we're gonna go back to potluck. Oh, uh, that was the bench. Fast travel to potluck. Yep. <laughs> and then the Sips River screen should be over here. This is the Sips River Bridge. I think they said it's two screens north of this? Yep. One. Aw, oh, fooey. How do I get over there? Oh. Splash pants? Okay. Wait, was that trash too? <gasps> How do I get up there? Do 
do do. <gasps> and a big present. Oh my gosh, I was never able to do this screen. Um, this is kind of rude. Alright, let's reset. I've never heard them called that, and I will only call the, them that now. Is this just swim trunks? Splash pants? You, you, you've never heard them called that? I don't think I have either. Starting a new trend. A brush style! We got another texture. This isn't why I'm here, though. We were trying to find that other item. Whee! Oh, this is new. We can wear that with our crown. We're too busy swimming at the moment. I'm gonna keep my splash pants on. It's like... <laughs> keep your splash pants on. Don't get your splash pants in a bunch. Um, What are some other turn of phrase idioms that have to do with pants? Did we ever go under the Sips River Bridge? Yes. I think that's where one of the T-Rex things was. Hmm. Oh. This is blocked off now? Oh, luncheon is just looking very dreary. Oh, Blackberry's here! Oh, it's you, the wielder! You're really doing it? You're going in there? I don't even know what to say. I can't believe I got to meet someone so brave. You're such a cool wielder. I want to be brave like you someday. Thanks, Turnip. You're such a sweetie. Oh, it's you. I was just going about my regular adult travels. But why is this place so creepy? Everyone says you're going to stop it. Well, good luck. I'm going to get the heck out of here myself. Wow, wow. It got so scary here. I can't believe you're really gonna fight it. You're very brave, Seafood. I was never such a good wielder. Haha. <laughs> I hope it goes okay. Seafood? I know Chicory's trained Chicory's trained you all she can, so I'm placing my trust in the two of you. Please annihilate this corruption. We're all counting on you. Very scary. Let's see if anybody's at my house. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hi, Pumpernickel. Hmm, hmm. Can you add more of this color? And less of this color? Oh, I... Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to fix your house. This um, creepy vine won't let me change it. What about this? Can you add more of this color and less of this color? Could you add more of this color and less of this color? More of this color and less of this color. And less of this color. What? Welcome to Earth. Okay, I guess I shouldn't be using the paint bucket. Uh, Llama, thank you for the host. Welcome in. Get the heck out of there. Sounds like a very responsible thing to do. Yeah. <gasps> oh my! What a wonderfully balanced set of colors. Thank you for meeting my specifications. It's quite a lovely job. It's wonderful that you gave my home color. Without any reward. Seeing my smiling face must be its own reward, hmm? 
Well, this is quite unheard of. These growths are more progressed than anything in wielder literature. In other words, you've messed up pretty bad, hmm. Well, best of luck. Like it or not, we're all counting on you. And personally, I think you've got what it takes to turn this around. Thanks, Pumpernickel. I heard this was a stream with not one but multiple overall pouch animals. You came to the right place. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oi! This black stuff's grown all over luncheon! But we ain't gonna take it sitting down! Let's show them our fighting spirit! Or I guess, mostly, you show them your fighting spirit! And uh, we'll just wait here! Yeah! I have a small llama that fits in yours. I was like gonna do a, a poll at the beginning of stream and then I, I realized they could all fit in there. A llama one would be so cute. I think these are the only ones that I have that would fit. Jim, welcome back. What a heroic moment, seafood. You'll surely go down in history for this. I'm honored to be here to witness it. Perhaps I'll capture it in a painting later. May you prevail against this corruption. You can do it, seafood. The situation looks grim. Grimmer than anything in recorded wielder history, really, but... You're a great wielder. I think you can handle it. We're counting on you. Oh, your pot friend would be cute as an overall pocket friend, too. Here, do you still want that fancy and tough outfit? Uh, crown is pretty fancy, but I feel like that would the clue would be royal. Where's our monocle? I have too many outfits. Where's our biker jacket? Ah, there it is. Tough and fancy. That's the outfit I'm looking for. That wasn't it. I hate this mask. Alright, well I'm gonna put the bard outfit back on. And the headband. The headband is a favorite. <gasps> we get to pick out more furniture! Hey, check it! Pepper and I move more stuff out to make room. If you want some, it's yours. Toy set, spooky set, camp set. Okay, I feel like we need the scary stuff because it's gotten so scary around here. Do -do -do. All right, I'll be watching the kids inside. If you find three more, I'll move more stuff out. Look at all the cats and one skunk. Hey everybody, how's it going? Lots of pets. Uh, I am so sidetracked. What are we doing? We're trying to get north of Sips River Bridge. We're trying to get to this screen right here, which is actually next to my house. Oh, it's the, is that the garden? It's just west of my house. Okay. We're delivering mail. The side quest. You can find trash. Lost kids. You can deliver mail. You can take art classes to paint all the portraits. You can find clothing. You can do the side quests with all the outfits with this guy at the cafe. What other side quests? Hidden treasure from the pictures. Taking the pictures to send to that pelican guy. Oh, hey, seafood. I just came by to check out your colors. Looking really nice here. It's cool seeing how you decided to color stuff. You got this. Thanks, Clementine. That's our sister. Um, I still need to go north a lot more. <gasps> this is our mom. 
Tifu, we heard about what you were doing and... Well, we had to be here for you. Are you nervous? I sure am. But we're rooting for you, sweetie. I know you can do it. You're an incredible kid. I never thought you'd be doing something so heroic. But that's why I'm so proud of you, Seafood. You've grown into such a responsible and capable person. I should have thought. I should have known. I won't doubt you again. As far as I'm concerned, you can do anything. I love you, Seafood. You can do it. Mom! Dad! Seafood, you got this. A bunch of creepy trees ain't got nothing on you, okay? I'm proud of you. I ain't good at the sappy stuff like Mom is, but I really, really meant it. After all this is over, I'll bring you all the holies you want. Hehe. <laughs> holies, slices, fizz. What's the other cafe where we can sell food? Beans is in our house. Hey, I like what you've done with the place. Looks like you got out of use out of Chicory's portrait. Makes me glad to see it. Okay, that's funny that Beans calls out a furniture item that Beans did not give us. <laughs> Cause all this other stuff in my room, literally every other item aside from the two portraits are from Beans. <laughs> Hey, I like what you've done with the place. Oh no, that's not true, because the flowers aren't from beans either. The potted plants. Oh well. I think this is where we need to deliver the mail? Yes, you've got a letter for me. Let me see. Oh, how lovely. It's a letter from my old friend Gelato in Brecky. I've got to go pay him a visit sometime. Oh, where are my manners? Seafood? Thank you for delivering this. I've got a little something for you, actually. A very special flower. One I picked out just for you. Ow! That's so cute! It's a chicory flower. Gotta head out for a bit. Hopefully you'll be back before stream ends. Okay, Trav sounds good. We'll see ya. <laughs> Did you know chicory was the name of a flower, seafood? It's a pretty one, too. I hope you might like it. You've got another letter to deliver. The address is middle of three square houses in a row. All my little flowers are blooming again. They're so happy they're practically singing. And I am too. Please take this. Some trash! Yes. Someone tossed that in my garden. Oh, things just get worse and worse, don't they? The town is taken with such an awful ambiance. This is a wielder responsibility, isn't it? Seafood, I'm so sorry. You have my well wishes fighting this. Aww. Oh, uh, do I want to come up here? Now we can go... Actually, yeah, let's go back this way again. Oh, I can't get to the river from here. Did I go up that waterfall? I thought I did. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to keep track of everything. This reminds me of one of the places we t need to take a picture of. Right here, right? Yeah. It's looking kind of dreary. Let's dress it up a bit. Let's use some of our special colors. kind of cool. Okay, and now we take a picture. Uh, 
on, we gotta do a pose. Um, sure. Let's do... <laughs> that. Can I get through there? No? Okay. Nibble tunnel. I don't want to go in nibble tunnel right now. How come I never colored this place in? Oops. Alright, what are we doing now? Going to potluck, I think. This is so scary. Seafood, a lot of folks are coming by luncheon to cheer for you. Isn't that sweet? I'm on team seafood too. Do your best out there. Thanks, I'm a little worried. All right, let's go find the bench. go to potluck. This is our parents' house. Adorable. Here it's not so corrupted and dark and scary. Oh, we gotta take a picture of the, um, the school. Oh, I kind of like this better. Fill in all these gaps with this pretty blue. Okay. Photo. And then one of these is three square houses in a row. this. Oh my, is that a letter for me? Let's take a look. Ah, uh, it's a birthday card from Turnip. Happy birthday! But my birthday was months ago. And we live right next door. <laughs> Sorry. I thought I sent it on time, but um, I guess I didn't. Well, you did your best. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. You delivered a letter. You've got another. The address is... To beans. I know that. I know that character. Look at all these little cuties. Alright, let's try to get this. Can I go under the fence this way? No. How the heck do we get that poor child? You're telling me this whole time they fall on the right side of the fence? And I just didn't click it because I assumed we wouldn't be able to get to them? I'm a fool. This game is too much welcome cutest overload. It really is. Us. It's so cute. TT, hi, welcome in. Thank you for the host. <laughs> witnessing my foolishness right off the bat. I was so stuck on that lost kid for so long. Oh, hi. We already went in there. I think we've been along most of this shorefront. Yeah, we've seen most of this. There's a special spot by the swamp that we're missing. Oops, uh, what's happening? 
We got this picture. We got this picture. We got this picture. This one I don't think we got yet. We got this picture. So we're only missing this. This one, which I think is in... Uh, Supper Woods. We got this. This is the, the swamp. Okay. Not bad. Hi, Egg. Oh, thanks for painting this place. Seeing the blank white kind of bothers me. So I love what you did here. Aw, oh, no white in sight. It's so satisfying. You're making our world a better place. I hope you can keep filling it in. I love filling it in. Thank goodness they gave me this paint bucket. I watched a bit of the first episode of Sandman, yeah, Llama. But I fell asleep because I started it way too late at night. Cool visuals, pretty dark, pretty scary. Um, very interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see what else happens. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to fill this in. <laughs> are you enjoying it? Are you almost all the way through it, Llama? Or what are your feelings? I tried to start watching it last night as well, but yeah, it was nearly midnight and I knew I wouldn't make it far. Wow, we did the same thing. <laughs> It's tough. I, I don't know if I've talked about it um, when we've talked about TV shows on stream before, but my biggest barrier to watching TV is, like, if I'm watching it with somebody, with my partner or a group of friends, like, hey, we're doing this together, we're binging through it, whatever, then I'm, then I'm gonna ask questions, I'm gonna talk through it, I'm gonna be engaged, pay attention, know what's going on. If I watch something by myself, there's an increased likelihood that I will fall asleep, which is unfortunate. Um, so I have to like really be invested and set, a set aside time. But then also I feel like if I find something, I get hooked and then I watch the whole thing and like binge the whole thing. So not a lot of in between. It's a big info dump. Yeah. Episode 3 or 4. Okay, nice. Very exciting. Oh, I wanted that maroon color. I wanted to do this. This- I am so easily sidetracked in this game like I've never been in my life. Because of the coloring. I just am like, okay, let's start filling in this page. <laughs> what was I doing? Doesn't matter. Now we're in coloring book mode. I actually think this is the page I needed, though. Um, this is not Supper Woods. This is Appy Foothills. Oh. Cute! <laughs> oh, we can sit down! That's really cute! I very rarely watch things alone, but me and some friends have had pretty regular movie series nights, and that has become a weekly scheduled thing. I love it. It helps so much. It's just nice to have people to talk to about your favorite shows. Shows are a very social thing. As much as when we were growing up, parents would be like, oh, too much screen time. It is, you know, put a limit on your screen time. Don't live in front of the television. But when you do it with other people, you get to hang out and bond over something. And you can spark really cool social discussions about any issues that come up in the show. And I don't know. Okay, I got up here. Ooh, this is new. This is very bright. Extremely bright. Oh, my eyes hurt. Oh well. 
I'm gonna keep going anyway. Uh, we can get this trash. No, I don't know how to jump up there. I have to do the geyser. Maybe? How does this work? Oh, there we go. <gasps> Nailed it! Oops. And then this has a cat inside. Doo -doo -doo. Today was first of many Tuesdays. We're currently watching House of Dragons and Sandman. Nice. You should watch uh, Star Trek in the Discord with us. I'm always down to watch some Star Trek. We screen share that a lot. Home from work and have grocery store sushi. Enjoy. Hi, Magus. Welcome in. We talk as much as we watch. Have big breaks. Yep, yep, yep. Same. Same when I watch stuff. Um, we're going this way. Are you all liking House of Dragons? Is it good so far? Is it living up to the hype? Oh, I think we... We tried to do this puzzle. I tried to do this puzzle and failed. I think, haven't we been here before? How do? Oh yeah, thanks for the Discord link, too. And I don't usually have voice chat on for Star Trek, but we're always typing commentary <laughs> reactions in the text channel for the theater screen share chat, so I look forward to it every time we do. That'll be on Thursday this week. We're watching Strange New Worlds and The New Lower Decks. What is up with this screen? Maybe we have to get to it from above? Mysterious. Oh, well, let's jump in the water. This was where we finished this area. Wasn't this one of the trials? No, this is on the way to Desert Mountain? I think I see what's going on here. No. How do I get to that screen? I don't really feel like I had spent any time hyping for it, which maybe made it better. Parts of it was cool, there were also problematic parts that are kind of icky to watch. Mm. Last thing I watched was Anime World's Bubble Up, like, Soda Pop. It was good. I've not heard of that one. that I can't figure out how to get to this item. It feels like I should be able to go here.
Well, let's go in this waterfall. Hi, Brussels sprout. Oh, wow, this is kind of embarrassing. I came out here to study your work. I didn't think I'd run into you. Um, 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 I'm not sure what, what to say. It's nice. Thanks for coloring everything. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. None of this has any paint. But there's a bench up here. That's nice. And some trash. You all know how much I love trash. Where is this? Oh, it's part of Dessert Peak. Huh. Weird. <gasps> There's a dolphin! Chips! Wow, you found my secret springs! This is the best spot in all picnic, no doubt. The springs are hot and nobody comes here. Until you. <laughs> but we can share. The joy of hot water and cold snowy air. You don't get this kind of goodness in droughts. Droughts? I've never met someone from Ocean Province. Well, hey, nice to meet you. Is it drafts? Is that how you spell draft? Drought is with O-U-G-H, right? Because draft is a food edible thing, like beer on tap. Anyway. Can't say I meet up with too many surfies up this way either. You must be quite the explorer. You swam here all the way from the big drink? It's worth it. Nice to get away from it all, you know? The trip back down is real fun, too. Tell your surfy friends you got to meet a real dolphin. Just don't mention this spot to them. It can be our little secret, right? Cute. I saw a TikTok about commonly mispronounced words that you see a lot in literature. And it's normal to think like, oh yeah, that's that's how you would say it until you hear someone else say it. And I feel like draft and drought are both good ones for that. Maybe this is how we get to that item I was looking for. Gorgeous. <gasps> A ball gown. <laughs> no, that might be the end of this area. I don't like that the water is brown. Just doing a little doggy paddling. Alright, see ya. Whee! How did we get up here? Alright, let's go to Beans and deliver a letter. Chocolate Milk Falls, yeah. I have a few words that I would pronounce completely wrong since I'd only read them, but they were the same word and spelling in Norwegian, so said them with the same cadence. Ah. Tricky. What's the word? False cog cognates? Cognates? When it's spelled the same... No, that's different. That's that's a completely different meaning, but they look like they should be the same word, right? That's like embarrassed and embarrassada, which are not the same meaning. <laughs> like cathedral versus... I wouldn't know how to say that. Cathedral? Cathedral? Seafood. Oh my gosh. 
Since when did luncheon get so creepy? Mom said you're going in to fight the corruption. I don't even know what that means. But I'm scared for you. I hope you'll be alright. Come back in one piece, okay? Oh, more hugs. I love hugs. Love you. Sorry if I'm making you nervous. I'll try not to be such a downer. I'm sure you'll be fine. You're seafood after all. Go do what you gotta. Love you too, sis. Our whole family's here cheering us on. Oh, Beans isn't in my house anymore. Cathedral. Oh, nice. Hey, Beans, I got a letter for you. Yeah. You just got a letter. Oh, nice. Looks like someone saw Pepper's flyers. She's been a huge help, gotta say. With kids missing across picnic, she's working her butt off. Trying to raise awareness and get them home. She's really something, you know? It's hard to put into words, but... Something really turned around for me when she showed up. Bless. Folks across Picnic are helping us figure out the kid crisis, and I feel like me and Pepper can do a big part together. Thanks for, uh, bringing us together. By delivering that first letter. Cute! The address is the highest house in Brecky. And I guess we don't need to go back to dinners because we still have lots of letters to deliver. Let's go to Brecky. Let's talk to Gelato because that's who we took a bunch of those pictures for. And then let's deliver this to the tallest house in Brecky. And then we'll take a stream break. <laughs> Writing phonetic is something I have yet to master. Always difficult with language barriers. I feel like that was pretty good, Llama. Well, if it worked, if I said it right. You still hear the grub? I don't hear it, but I guess it's a cute little squeaky noise regardless. Oh, hey! You're both here. Hi, Basil. Basil. Whatever. Funny seeing you, you here as well, Seafood. I was just here to see my old friend Gelato. We go so far back. You're the one who delivered my letter, aren't you? Thank you so much. It means the world to see my friend Basil again. Oh, this photo! It's one of the places in my gallery. Please, may I take it? Yes, I took it for you. Oh, <gasps> Beautiful. Yes, thank you. I'm happy to see they finally built those bike paths and dinners. Interesting because I used my custom palette. I think it maybe skews the colors a little bit? Not anymore. When it was zoomed in, it kind of looked different. It looked kind of off. This photo! It's one of the places in my gallery. Yes. Yeah, that one. This shot looks different. I'm glad everyone was all right after that. Something about rocks falling near Elevensies. Oh, rolling R's. Fair. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the places. Yes, you can have it. Basil and I used to love the view there. He always said he'd move there someday. <laughs> this photo. That's one of the places in my gallery, please. May I take it? Yes. Yes, you're the reason I took the picture. I've always fancied the tea time meadows. It looks like it's gotten a bit overgrown since those days. It's one of the places in my gallery. Please, may I take it? Yes, you may. The art academy is as beautiful as ever, but the ivy is much more fetching now that it's grown out. And that's my entire gallery filled. <gasps> Thank you so much. I'm so relieved to see Picnic refreshed again. There's nothing equivalent, but please take these. Camera lenses. Lenses are a bit silly, but they take fun photos. They add new effects options in your camera menu. I haven't used them in ages. You'll get much more out of them than I am. Is it fisheye? We gotta try it. 
Picnic's changed so much since I was young, but it's still a beautiful place. Thanks in no small part to you, no doubt. Thank you for keeping your region colorful. I was quite the enterprising photographer, but I never could have anticipated where camera technology would go. I hear these days they come out with devices that also display maps. It boggles the mind. Words can't capture my satisfaction. Staying here in sedentary, I get a bit wistful, wondering how the world is changing where I can't see. Thanks for bringing some of that world back to me. I like it here. You two are cute. It shows you the two side by side, how much it's changed. I wish that I hadn't taken this one when it was all dark and creepy. Yes. That's so yes. cute. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Welcome in. I need to lay down in bed now, probably fall asleep. If you do happen to finish, we'll be sad to miss the end, but it's been great to share your experience. Thank you, Adam. Have a good sleep. We'll see. I'm trying to finish today, but I'm doing a lot of side questing. <laughs> I chose a welcome in. My dad just got a camera that's got GPS built in too. Wow. Fancy, fancy. I want to try this photo mode. Where are the lenses? These are filters. Ooh. Pixelated. I didn't try any of these yet. Cute. Ooh. 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 Inverted rainbow. Wow, this goes hard. Too much. Oh, God. Seasick seafood. We'll see you, Adam. Good night. Oh, this is like funhouse mirror situation. That's actually kind of cool. Wee! <laughs> we touched fuzzy. <laughs> there we are. Squeesh. Stretch! There's the different poses. <laughs> Look at us over in the corner. I'm unsure of this. Wow! 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 <laughs> oh, we can use the telephone. That's one of our poses. <laughs> I like this one. We're laying down along for the ride. Ooh! Okay, that's enough, Jen. Too much. Raindrops. And we're back to normal. What? <laughs> I can move around like this. That is way too much fun. Alright, we gotta go to the tallest house. Yeah, it's, uh, I was floating around on my back because we were still in photo mode, and that's one of the poses is to be lying on the floor, so <laughs> that's what we did. Oh, well, this is kind of embarrassing. No, it's not. It's fine. We just ran into you in that other screen. Oh, is this it? Do we gotta talk to the Twitch streamer again? I got a letter for you. Oh, it's a challenge. This person says, they're the best in all of Picnic at Mega Mash Sisters. We'll have to see about that. Hey. 
Oh, uh, did you want something as thanks? You can take this old spare gaming TV. I'll message that person for sure. Maybe we'll have a match here soon. But I'm gonna keep streaming for now. <gasps> Mailbag is empty. Okay, now we have to turn this in. That was speed running all the letter deliveries. Thought it was a filter. Oh, no, it wasn't bugged. It looks a little buggy, though. That's very fair. I love getting to know this map. You all know how I feel about maps. I really like this one. And it's especially cool because each area has a name with like a meal associated with it, a color palette, which I feel like helps my memory. It has, each area has different foliage. Similar, I mean, Hollow Knight does that too, where each area has a different color palette, foliage name chunk like the shape of the overall region and then with hollow knight you get the names of each of the stag stations to help your memory too it's the legendary tv that has nes built in i don't know should we set it up and see i gotta turn in the mail first i wish they still made those tvs with consoles built in i only ever had a um oops sorry a TV with a VHS VCR built in. Never a console. That's cool. Here you go, Artichoke. <gasps> Finally delivered all those letters. You're welcome. Ahem. Grumph. Well, there's more where those came from. Oh, I thought we were done. I thought we got a reward. Well, for your hard work, you can take this too. Okay, that's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. This is the last stack of letters. The first one is addressed to workshop on the river. Get to it. Whatever. You're so grumpy. We'll go hang out in the slice shop while I take my break. Okay. <laughs> um... I need to get up and stretch. I'm gonna run an ad. We've been having pre-roll this whole time. I'm so sorry. I usually just run it when we break and we didn't take a break. The thing I wanted though growing up were the PC that had Sega Genesis built into it. Nice. Thank you all for being here. We're gonna side quest for a little bit longer when I get back. And then we will head up the wielder tower. I'm excited. Seafood was taking a little nap. <laughs> you could hear the snoring. Clementine again? I'm here to get my slice on. I always knew this place was great. It's nice to see them getting more traffic now. Because of the logo we made together. So our next letter was... I forget already. Where was it? Workshop on the river. That's near our hometown, right? Yeah, Style Maker. Alright, let's get to it. How was everybody's break? What else you got going on for the night? We're gonna try to do these letters and that last hidden treasure, the buried treasure. Is that a letter for me? Oh, it's... <clears throat> it's a bit embarrassing. Okay, I'll tell you. It's my new figure skating costume! You see, I've got a dream. To be a figure skater. It's not something I like sharing because, well, 
I'm scared people will laugh at me. But I shouldn't let that stop me. No, you should not. I'm trying to share that side of myself more. I have to if I want to show myself on the ice someday. Actually, can I share something else with you? I had that delivered before, but it's a size too small for me. Looks perfect for you, though. Wear it and follow your dreams. Exactly halfway between lunch and bench and Blackberry's house. Okay. Look, we're a figure skater. How do you like the brush style I made you? I love it. I use it all the time. If I come back in, are you going to be wearing a figure skating costume like me? No. That's okay. Bye. Halfway between the bench and luncheon. Which is here. Everything's looking so gray here. And Blackberry's house. Which is... Here. That's a tough one. Hmm. Well, let's go over to luncheon. And then we'll go... Well, uh, do we need to go through supper woods? No, we need to go through the swamp. Which is kind of where Blackberry's house is. All right, let's go back to luncheon and then we'll fly to the, the swamp bench. Wanna be a figure skater? You be a figure skater. <laughs> Follow your dreams. I feel like this game has a very consistent message of do what you believe in, don't let people make fun of you, or don't let it get to you. Interesting to compare your choices with your predecessors. You certainly have a very personal style. Thank you. You can't blame most of this on me because this is all corrupted. I do want to get a lift to Gulp Swamp. Yes. You don't need a letter? Okay. I couldn't swim in any of this or paint any of this before when we were here. But now we can. Oh, I made it. Okay. Oh, this is not Blackberry's house. Blackberry's house is still to the right. But I think I gotta go up and around. No. I'm lost again. Ugh. You must have to get to it from supper woods and not from the swamp. I think I went through this before. Whoops. Well, I feel like it was worth checking with that one character. Oh no, can we get to it from here? No, we were just at this screen. Oh, I've never been down here. Ocean. Oh, that's as far as I can go. Nice. We found a present. And we need to do a puzzle. Oh, I 
think this is part of it. No. Okay, we got this part. Now I can't really tell what's going on here. Is it just one up? There we go. Trash! And then this, I think, needs to be here. Yeah. Just realized it's only a week. I know, it's only a week away. I'm so excited. We were talking about it at the beginning of stream. Because we were talking about, oh, I wore my, um, my cookie cat pin today. We were talking about <laughs> cookie cat at the beginning of stream. And that got us on a whole topic of cartoons and everything, so... Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for Steven Universe emotes yesterday, and there's a cute Steven one that I liked, but I didn't look for Cookie Cat. I did look for Lion, and they don't have, like, Frankface and BTGB, neither of them has a cute Lion emote. <gasps> Being Puppy Cat is a week away. The new um, remake slash brand new season. It is a cartoon that is featured in many of my alerts. <laughs> and it's just really fun art and colors and music. It's about uh, a space girl and her space cat is how I've been describing it. Um, which isn't totally accurate, but there's not much you can say about it. Cute little cat creature like the emote that Llama just used. Cookie Cat Cup in Discord? Okay, yeah! I, t I had to explain it to the person when I was checking out at Michael's. They're like, oh, what you working on? These are fun. What are you making? And I was like, um, it's a costume. <laughs> what show is it? Um, it's called Bee and Puppy Cat. It's about a girl and her cat. <laughs> sort of. We've been we've been here. We've done all this. What did, what else did I say I was gonna do? Well, we have to find um, Blackberry's house. Oh, I need to fill this in. Can we climb this now? Is this new? Oh, oh. No. Oh. Is this new? Oh, this is new. You changed that Michael's lady's life today. She's about to enter a whole new world of wonder. Maybe she started watching. I don't know. I told her what it was. I'm not going to keep that a secret. <laughs> Maybe she'll join us for a watch along. Um, this is weird. How come I can't go through there? I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Okay, I didn't realize. 
is a complicated section. Uh oh, I'm in the dark. I gotta sneak around the bugs. But we got a big present! It's a leaf! Oh, I guess I can replace the Korok seed. Eh, whatever. I enjoyed that. And dude, how's it going? Welcome in. Korok seed? Yeah, you know. <laughs> The essentials. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm enjoying getting lost. No, I know what we're doing. We're doing my favorite thing in all Metroidvanias, which is run around the map after you get all of your mobility skills and try to find cool stuff. That's it. That's what we're doing. And plus, while we do that, we get to color in this whole world. Have we been under this bridge yet? Yeah. Um, is this that picture that we're looking for? Trav, welcome back. Hello, hello. We're invested. I'm still going. No, this one with the three trees. Maybe it's down here. This is Beetroot's house. Dinner still has three gifts hidden. Okay, wait, was there something else? Hey, don't touch that! It hides an old family secret! Something that opens the way to treasure. Wait, I shouldn't say that. Probably makes you want to see it even more. Well, you shouldn't. I'm gonna sneak behind the curtain. No peeking! <laughs> oh, cute. I thought I just painted this water. Maybe not. Have to take off? Okay, soul, sounds good. Have a good one. Enjoy your lurk. I'm looking for three trees next to each other. <gasps> Here they are. Ready? Sparkles? Is it like makeup? Aww, it's perfect for our figure skater outfit. Cookie Cat Cup in Discord? Let me check. Did anybody join Discord on break? I forgot to check. Yeah, somebody did. You have your Discord permissions now. Welcome. Photos and sharing. Aww, this mug is adorable. Cookie Cat, he's a pet for your tummy. Cookie Cat, he's super duper yummy. And there's the Babish video, nice. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting distracted. Um... Should we go this way? Is that where we just came from? I need the map. I said it was fun learning the map, but I'm still very reliant on this. Okay. I was gonna go back to this bench. Which seems very far away now. 
Maybe we can swim to it. Yeah. Bubblegum swamp. Um, we just gotta go back to luncheon to get to Supper Woods. It'll be faster. I know I'm procrastinating, everybody. I'm sorry. This is important. Yum Cave. We're going through Yum Cave. It's beautiful. And it should be quick to get here, get through here, right? This is a present. The mushroom noises every time I go in a new screen. Oh, a gift. I missed it. Cord coat. Okay, I'm too busy wearing my figure skater outfit right now, but maybe later. How come we haven't been back here? It's so gorgeous. <gasps> Supper woods. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, color things in a bit. Looking good, looking sharp. And I think this is Blackberry's house? This needs that one color in my custom palette. This one. Hey you. So, seafood. How are things progressing? Blackberry, I saw something in Brunch Canyon. Oh. I know about what happened between you and Chicory. And I know how horrible you feel about it. Chicory is still suffering because of it, too. I know it's not my business, but did you ever think about telling her you're sorry? I've thought about it. But that opportunity likely passed a long time ago. No, it's never too late. I know it was hard for her under me. But life was going to be hard for her unless she toughened up. Someone had to prepare her. And in the end, it wasn't enough, was it? She crumbled so quickly under the weight of that brush. You didn't have to be that way. I'm not so sure. Oh, yeah, right. Come on. In hindsight, I wish I wasn't. I wish that at least we could have stayed friends. But when it came to it, I decided... I didn't decide to be your friend. I decided to be your teacher. And maybe I failed at that too, but I did try. So you don't regret how you treated Chicory at all? I regret that it hurt her. Maybe I chose the wrong successor. No way. She was so gifted, I believed in her. I was sure she could surpass me. All she needed was someone to push her. Someone to remind her she could be better. I know it's not easy. But I did it myself, and I thought I'd finally found in her someone who could do what I did. That's not how this works! I know Chicory wanted to be like you so badly, but she wasn't you. Treating her like that was so unfair. If she had a problem, she should have said something sooner. I don't think you gave her that chance. You made her think she had to be perfect, and she tried so hard in silence. Is that what she told you? You should talk to her yourself. It's far too late for that. Oh, so dramatic. She despises me. And maybe she's right too. Maybe I don't deserve to be in her life again. It's not my place to decide anymore. I guess I just wish that you and Chicory could talk about it and be friends again someday. It doesn't feel right for things to be left this way. I want to fix it. I wish it were so simple. But it's not your problem to fix. I want so badly 
to go back to the way things were. For Chicory to forgive me, but I have no right to ask for that. I can't change how I hurt her. Maybe someday we'll talk again, but maybe we won't. That's something I had to learn to accept. And you will too. Ooh, I was starting to think every character was nice and wholesome and no one was bad and I was wrong. This is so deep though because it comes from whatever other places of like Blackberry's insecurity, except Blackberry doesn't really want to talk about it. It's rough. Here, I'm making your house all bright, excessively bright. Add a goat, welcome in, how's it going? We're giving this space the gen treatment. I don't want to discuss this with you anymore. Please go. I need to be alone. Leave me be. You gotta make it right! Oh, this is our little leaf stamp. I haven't used that yet. It turns every time. That's really cute. Huh. Hey! I was curi curious about the work of our new wielder. These are, these are, um, repetitive. I'm not gonna read that every time we see a villager at a new spot. So we made it, finally, to Blackberry's house. Now we have to find the screen halfway between this screen and the bench. Oh my god. And I missed that opportunity to find it because I went through Yum Cave, so we should take the other route back if I can figure out how to do that. It's over here? Oh, a whole screen that we did, but I didn't um, fill it in. Right, these screens, I didn't fill in, like, any of them. The little splats around the mushrooms are cool, though. Um... Let's try to match what I did before. <laughs> Beautiful. Have you seen the game Akka? You play as a red panda and it looks super cute. I think I saw a review of it on TikTok. Um, it does look super cute. Okay, we're still working towards this imaginary halfway point. If I go here, is there a character on this screen? No. If I go here, is there a character on this screen? No, but I can climb this wall. Is there a character up here? Oh, this takes us back to the rainforest. Okay. Interesting. What's up here? This is that spider friend. This is all blank. Oh, maybe it's the spider friend that needs the mail. Yay! Is that a delivery for me? Ee hee hee hee! It's triple layer sweet bake I ordered from Brecky. It does look aged a bit in transit. Oh well. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that hit the spot. I just can't get enough of surface world food, especially sweet bakes. Oh my, yes. It's why I left my home and feast. Please accept this as thanks. Some trash! Yes. And the next one is the lone cabin high on the mountain. We have to meditate with our friend first. Okay. <laughs> Where does this path go? Little cobblestones to this ledge. Okay. There's so many shortcuts now that we can climb walls and jump and things like that and swim through paint. Amazed when game devs manage to make spiders cute. The spider in this is adorable. Um. Now what are we doing? Top of the mountain. Top of the mountain to ya. My screen froze for a second. The Lone Cabin. Is this at Simmer Springs? I feel like we can do a lot more up here now. Is that a cabin up here? Wait, hang on. Let me zoom in. Oh, I took off the glitter. If we're going up north, we gotta wear something warm, though. Puffy jacket. Oh, that's not a cabin. That's where the house party is. Okay, cool. Now we should be able to see more of this area because of the waterfall. Wee! Oh no, we rode this down. We've seen this already. So then how do we get to that other section? We did this. Oh, I thought we did this. Tiara. Cute. This is where we sang the song. <laughs> where is this lone cabin? It's so calm up here now. Can I, I, this is, looks really bad, but I want to know if we can jump down to get to that other ledge. I don't think so. Oh, I love that noise. I forgot already that it makes that noise. Simmer Springs, what are you hiding? Can I climb up this? Um, oh, hi, don't let me intrude your romantic rooftop spot. I'm gonna give you a purple sky. Oh, how do I? How come you're staying yellow? I don't want you to be the same color as the pool. Oh well. We came to Simmer Springs for the famous sky view. Had this trip booked for months, but... I have to admit, it's... It's probably not the same without color. No. So I'm glad we caught you here. 
Could you color the sky back in? Make it as beautiful and romantic as possible. Not Meg. You can't just ask the wielder to do things for you like that. No, it's okay. Everyone does. Oh, it's true though. Welcome to Earth. Maggie, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Hello. We're coloring in the sky. Pretty sunset colors, although this is making my eyeballs hurt. Oh man. Is the sky painted how you wanted? Yeah. Let's watch the sunset together. Wow. 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 It really is so romantic. I should have filled it with hearts. Can't believe we got to be here to see you paint it. We're the first people to ever see this sky. This trip wound up even more special than we hoped. Ha, huh, it's true. Thanks so much. I used to come here every year with my family. Our favorite thing to do is look at the sky. It was so exciting last year when it changed. After Chicory became the wielder, and now it's changed again. Two in a row, I feel so lucky. It really is so beautiful, but not as beautiful as you. You must have waited a long time to use that one. So long. Haha. -ha. I love you, sweetie. Love you too. Cuties. Oh, and we can float. Just like that other spot. I'm doing good, Maggie. This game is the cutest ever. Still continues to be. I love it so much. We're, uh, we're backtracking. It's a Metroidvania. We're getting all the surprises. Oh, a top hat! I wish we could wear that with the monocle. Oh, everybody's here to look at the sky. I heard and wanted to come see for myself. Do you put a lot of thought into it when you're drawing? Um, some. <laughs> that makes sense to me. If you think it's too much, it's stressful. But if you don't care at all, it wouldn't turn out well either. Your approach is probably the best. Wow! Leave it to Sifu to paint a sky as gorgeous as this. <sighs> I wish I knew more about art. I can't put into words the feelings your work gives me. All I know is it's good, and I love it. Thanks. We gotta find the last piece of evidence for this mystery. Oh, there's a staircase back here? That's exciting. What's going on on this little landing here? Oh, I can't use this? What's going on back here? Hi, cutie. Who are you? Rice. Are you here on vacation, too? This is my favorite spot to get away to. Walking in the snowy mountains, then soaking in the hot springs. It's fab as can be. Why are you hanging out back here by the, um, dumpster? This is, this is the kind of place I hang out. Oh, this is evidence back here. I didn't even realize it. Evidence. Me and my top hat and my dumpster. Hmm. What is it? There's just this pretty suspicious bunch of evidence around you here. E evidence What are you doing back here, anyway? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm lost. So you don't know anything about missing furniture? N no Exactly what a criminal would say. You're free to go for now, but you're officially a suspect. I've never been suspected of something. Well, I'll do my best! Okay. That's very cute of you, but, um... 
I don't think you want to be a suspect. Hey, Clementine. Now we can go turn in the evidence. Oh, it looks like you found all the evidence. Are you ready to begin the final interrogation? Ah, <gasps> yes. Now let's begin the interrogation. Suddenly, mystery novel. Oh, I already figured out who did it. Do I have to pick? This is showing the first picture we took. Oh, it froze. It was obviously chilly. What? Well, hey, that's not fair. You can't just decide that based on such flimsy evidence. I was excited to be interrogated, too. Fine. Rice, did you steal the furniture? Why, no, I didn't. Then how do you explain this evidence? I found that outside just when you did. It looks like... Squeeze. Squeeze? You know, the sweet liquid from inside fruit? I know what squeeze is. But why would squeeze be all over Summer Springs? Because I stole it! Aha! Uh -huh, so you did steal the furniture. No, I wish I stole the furniture. But I did steal a bunch of squeeze. That's why it was all over my feet. Why would you steal squeeze? Because I love to steal. It's a fun and rewarding activity. <laughs> I feel like we're losing the plot. There was squeeze at the scene of the crime. And some behind the resort, strangely. The only other place I found squeeze was by the hot springs. Chili, are you saying you spilled squeeze in all those places? Oh, no. Just my cave. I don't know anything out about the other stuff. Oh, then the culprit it must have been... Yeah, I have no idea. I think I give up. Okay, I admit it! I was just checking on the presidential suite while enjoying my favorite squeeze when disaster struck. I spilled squeeze everywhere and I just couldn't clean it up. No matter what I tried, those guilty stains remained. So I got desperate. I thought the furniture just needed a bath. And so I dragged it all behind the resort and out to the hot springs and dumped it all in the water. <laughs> Everything sank to the bottom instantly. It's gone. It's all gone. And it's all my fault. I'm the worst hotel employee. I'm so sorry, everyone. Quince. It's okay, dearie. What? It's okay. I forgive you. It was terrifying when I thought we'd been robbed. Knowing it was just you, well, I'm relieved. We have seafood to replace all the furniture anyway, so whatever. <laughs> I see. Well, that will be all then. Thank you all for coming. And thank you, Seafood, for your diligent interrogation. We can consider this case officially closed. <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was epic. Queen back high. <laughs> Going Ace Attorney on the soundtrack. Oh, is that very similar? I love it. Quince has worked here for a long time. Frankly, I don't think this place could run without her. So I'm willing to not cry over spilled squeeze and let bygones be bygones. Hopefully that never happens again, though. Thank you again. I certainly regret some of my choices here today. I'd really appreciate your discretion concerning my... Er unfortunate habit of imbibing vast amounts of squeeze. It's unbecoming for an esteemed employee such as myself. That rapscallion Chili has been an annoying presence here for some time. Perhaps he hasn't stolen from us, but I'm sure someday he will. 
so I'd hoped this investigation could oust him from Summer Simmer Springs. Alas, my guilty conscience took over. My noble, honest soul. I suppose one mystery still remains. Just where did Chili steal the squeeze from? Wait a moment. My squeeze storage, could he have? <gasps> Chili! Aww. I'll get you some more squeeze. This is the room we decorated. Pistachios just chilling in here. Alright, see ya. That was, uh, that was a lot. But we did good. And now we're looking for a cabin. One single lonely cabin. That's a frog. Maybe you? Whoa! What is a biscuit? I can tell just by looking at you. You found all our treasures, haven't you? Whoa! They were hidden for so long. We got really bored. Yeah, thanks for finding them. Now we can think about new secrets. Finally. Well, maybe in Chicory too. Yay! Chicory 2! I don't think there is one lonely cabin up here, so maybe it is by Desert Peak instead. Oh, audio's delayed? Interesting. Um... I don't really know how to fix that right now. I know how to fix it in, uh, like, in OBS. But I'm not gonna do that midstream. I don't know if we're gonna finish tonight. Oh, we will. We will. It's good for you. Maybe try refreshing and seeing if that helps. Gummy? It's negligible? Okay. Eh, keep me posted. If it gets worse, let me know. Oh, we- it's probably- no, isn't this where that, um, dolphin is? Yeah, I don't think there was a cabin up here, right? I'm gonna read the clue again. The clue is here. Lone cabin high on the mountain. Oh, I'm glad it works now. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Th always feel free. Like, let please let me know when it's not synced up or there's a problem with audio. But then hopefully we can fix it on my end or your end if that's the case. Sometimes Twitch gets really delayed. I don't know. It could be a pain. I just- I don't remember there being... a cabin along this path. I didn't finish breaking all these, though. How do we do this?
Why didn't I do this yet? Unclear. Is this a cabin? Yay! Success! Who lives up here? Hello? I have a letter here for you. It says it's from Mochi. Give me a minute. Cool snow leopard. She wants me back in the barber shop. Oh, you're a barber? Used to be. Mochi and I started a shop together in dinners. I love cutting hair, but... Well, maybe you noticed. I'm not a people person. Don't know how I feel about this. I left because I thought Mochi was better off without me. I didn't think she'd miss me. It sounds like you two are good friends. We were. Okay, I'm going back. Cutting hair was always my dream. If I don't try again, I'll regret it forever. Thanks again for getting that letter to me. <gasps> we did it! Exactly halfway between Tea Time Bridge and top of City Hall. How much longer do you think you'll be playing? I need to want to run, but don't know whether to do it now or after stream. Um, we won't go longer than another 50 minutes so like on the hour although on the half hour it's just past 8 30 p.m for me we won't go past 9 30 p.m for me i think the letters are my last side quest and then we'll be ready to go up the tower is the plan if that helps i don't know exactly how like what order everything, or how long the, the wielder tower takes. Oh, I can't go past these without painting them. Hi, Peppermint. <laughs> what a cutie. How, what's the best way for me to get to dinners from here? Like this. Only this is halfway between dinners and um tea time bridge. Where's the tea time bridge? Oh, this one. Oh. Okay, so it's probably somebody in dinners. It looks like the lower right hand corner building, maybe. I've never been on the top of City Hall. We never climbed this. Who are you? We'll probably go in 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry if the timing doesn't work out. Okay. Mysterious. Tamarind. Oh. Don't usually see folks up here. I'm one of Picnic's transit flyers. <gasps> oh, you're who flies us around. There is always the VOD, it's true. If you want to catch up in the VOD. Um, I do turn all of our, our playthroughs into collections too, into highlights, so they don't get erased. Don't ask me to take you anywhere. Oh, because they're on break. The job's all right, I say. I love to fly, and boy, howdy, I do lots of that now. You do get the rowdy jerk every now and then, but I'm a pretty sturdy gal. Flying folks around, you get the impression there's a real different picnic for everyone. To me, it's a tidy little province I can easily fly around. And even for most of the bigger animals... I'm a 
don't have the alert showing. Thank you, Trav. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I just posted a Kofi video today of Duncan. There is more behind the scenes coming. Kofi, vid Kofi tips also for anybody that doesn't know get you a shout out to my YouTube videos, a special role in Discord. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very generous. I like this character. This is these guys fly us around the whole province. Figured I would try to get us closer to the goal. I appreciate it. We've got a cosplay goal for Star Trek. If you do exclamation point August, you can see the details. Or AUG. A -U -G. I forgot to make an alias for it, but... Um, if we hit it, you all get to vote on what, what cosplay I do. Community choice. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> It's easy to climb anywhere from anywhere, so they don't transit much, but to the little ones like you, it's a sprawling expanse. Not to mention, folks with limited mobility. So I'm happy here to help out. You do good work. Goggles! That's really cool! Oh, I like those. Thanks! Let's try to go find where this other letter goes. Does it go to the mail? Uh, mail room? Maybe you? Whoa, look at this little toad driving around in a car! Wait, come back! Did you see that? I need to make a marker. Okay, I'm stopping traffic now. Did you see the little toad in a car? Oh, there it went again. There it went again. How are you supposed to catch up to it? It's so fast. I wonder if you see it on the same transition screens every time. Maybe if I wait here, it'll go past. No, you don't need a letter. This looks about halfway to me. Maybe one screen up or one screen over. Just applied for a job. Nice. Good luck. You excited for it? Oh, this person needs a letter. Okay. I've been on this anonymous letter exchange, but letters were frozen with everything going on. Looks like it's from way up before the color wipe. My pen pal is the coolest. I miss them. Sup, mystery pen pal. I'm on week three of Chiggery Watch. Oh, uh, uh, skipping down. Uh, cannot believe her janitor, though. Clearly trying to make buds. I see through it all. <laughs> Who do we think this is? I know everything about trying to make buds. Because I'm always trying. Honestly, I don't know how to know when someone likes you. I share everything about myself all the time. And then I IDK what to do after that. What makes people like you? Am I boring? Should I have secrets? I've never really said this stuff to anyone. So I guess it's kind of my secret. Wow, I really should stop reading this out loud. <laughs> The most beautiful gal in luncheon. No, all of picnic. Alright. Thankfully my church gave me a week work experience with a job that was not horrible. Getting paid 30 bucks a week for playing organ. Oh, nice. That's cool. Organ is, uh, complicated. Can be. Back to luncheon. Who do we think the most beautiful gal in all of luncheon is? Oh, hey. Momo. Don't you work at the salon now? Word is you're gonna fight the corruption here. I just wanted to come by and show my support. Hmm. 
You're not like other wielders. It was a small thing, but you did a lot for me when you delivered that letter. Things really turned around for me. I can tell you care about helping people. So thanks for all you've done. And all you're doing. It means a lot. At least to me. For those of you that have played this, I should have said, if we're not planning on going past uh, the hour, or rather, the half hour, is the wielder tower gonna take longer than that? Is it like a whole other dungeon? I assumed that it wasn't, but you know what happens when you assume. My mystery pen pal mentioned luncheon got extra spooky, so I wanted to come see. Pretty sure they live in luncheon too, but I didn't tell him I'd be here. Mystery pen pal should be a mystery, right? Anyway, this is wild. Everything wielders do is cool and crazy. I hope you fix all of this or whatever. Your pen pal's right over here! Pickle. Okay, do we think it's lemon? Do we think it's pea? Do we think it's clementine? Do we think it's basil? Do we think it's oats? Okay, that's the end of the town. Do we think it's beans? Oh, beans, I think seafood has something for you. Is it from Pepper? Is this a love letter? This can't be right. It says it's for the most beautiful gallon picnic. Look at that skunk blushing. Keep reading. I know you won't believe it. But beans, that means you. Aww. Everything's changing so fast for me these days. When my son went missing, I thought my life was over. But then I found him, and I found you. And found out my life was just beginning instead. Never thought I'd wind up caring for a house full of lost kids. But doing it with you now, I can't imagine anything else. Didn't know someone could have a heart as big as yours. Aw, oh, jeez. And I didn't know that after all this time, I could fall in love again. But you've shown me a lot of things I didn't know. And after all, you came into my life with a letter like this. So it was only right that I use one to ask if I could stay in yours forever. Oh my god. Do you really mean? Beans. Do you want a date? <laughs> Gosh darn it. Yeah, of course I do, you big sap. Oh. <laughs> Look at our little blushy cheeks. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Your mailbag is empty. We did it. You know, I never pictured life taking this road, but I guess sweet things can happen when you least expect. I'm so glad Pepper's gonna stay for the long haul. Makes me feel more than ready to care for all these kids. Um, plus, she just makes me happy. I was so worried. She was gonna go pack up and... Gonna pack up and go someday. I mean, this ain't her house or her problem. So why wouldn't she? And I didn't think she'd feel for me the way I was starting to feel for her. So, you know. It was a whole complicated bunch of emotions going on, but finally... I can put some of that aside and just enjoy living with her. Gosh. My heart was beating through my chest. While Beans read my proposal, I mean. I've never done something like that before. I guess Beans just pulls that side out of me. <laughs> oh, y'all are cuties. Alright, you know what this means. We gotta decorate. I was supposed to do different sizes too, and I kind of forgot. Look at all the love uh, 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 of. Yay. 
Okay, bye. I am not going to be able to finish all the lost kids today or all of the litter today, I don't think. Or all the outfits. But I'm going to go turn in this mailroom quest and then we'll go up the tower. We did good. Also not going to be able to finish all the map squares today. I mean, I could, but I think I'm ready to I'm ready to do the thing. The squirrels at a university campus use to humans and it's adorable. They let you get so close to take pictures and videos. Those squirrels have no fear. And a big heart, yes. That was so cute. I didn't expect the mail quest to have so much backstory. So much lore. All right, here you go. Incredible. It looks like you've delivered every single letter. You're welcome. I'd say you're easily the second or third best delivery person we've ever had. Good job. Rare, 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 rare. For your hard work, you can have this. Wear it with pride. There's a special kind of tranquility to a post office when the deliveries are done. Finally, we can rest and pray nobody sends any more letters. Humph. You got a family seafood? Never had time for one myself. But maybe today, I'll finally go find one. I'm just kidding. Sheesh. <laughs> I do miss my kids, though. <laughs> go hang out with your kids, you weirdo. So grumpy. One of the things I love about Gen Z is, in general, we seem to respect animals. Do other generations not? I mean, I feel like there's a varying amount of what we know about how to take care of animals has grown over time as humans. I had a research assignment at Academy, so I came to check out your colors. Oh, nice. I haven't gotten that dialogue before. All right, let's head to luncheon. Here we go. Scary times. My mom's generation, her brother took a grass snake and threw it like a lasso. That sucks. I feel like that's a lot to, um, to, Put on an entire generation off of that interaction, but I'm assuming that's not the only one. I feel like there's people who are disrespectful of animals in all generations, though. It just, if you haven't, I feel like there's also a culture with like pets. It, depending on where you grew up, if you had a cat, a dog, what your parents did, what they taught you, people treat their house pets and outdoor pets and things like that very differently like there's and it's a cultural thing too i think it's different in other countries as well to one person would be like oh my gosh that's cruel i would never treat my cat like that somebody else is like no it's my cat like that's what that's how it's done so yeah we do the best we can with the information we have at the time Sometimes on the internet I see things that shouldn't be pets that are pets. Yeah, what's a car carousel? Caracal? I don't know what that is. But I've definitely seen that before. They belong, uh, belong in the African desert, yeah. I'm a bit of a wanderer. I love seeing new places, but even better when there's cozy place to rest here like this. The smileys really tie the whole scene together. Why are you just showing up in my bedroom though? It's kind of weird. They're wild cats. Ooh, neat. All right, let's pick an outfit for conquering the tower. We gotta go with a signature look for confidence. We gotta show the hair. I think we have to have the bandana. Nice shirt.
The mailbag is cute. Hiker is too much gear. It'll weigh us down during the fight. Gothy is very cute. Dorky. <laughs> Where's the scientist jacket? Oh, the cord coat is nice. I like that. Too many options. They're all so good. Smock. Because we're a painter. Oh, our colors are all muted here. Do we keep the teal? We can use our special, um, our special palette, I think. The pink? If I go into menu, does it let me use this? Yeah. That's nice. Do we keep the teal or do we go for the darker green? I think we keep the teal. It's always sad when you see an animal that you just not sh should not be wild at a house. Yeah. So some people do take in rescues, but I think there's a lot of like it depends how you see it. If you see a video with no context, you don't know how that animal came into the home or why or if they could have survived. But it's tough to always know the full story. Teal to seal the deal. All right, let's do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got this, we can do it. Chicory. Let's go. The end is just ahead. All those trials, all our preparation. It's all come down to this. So, you feel ready? So ready. Bring it on, giant scary corruption. Well, before you go, we've got to talk about what's gonna happen after. I've been giving it a lot of thought and I think we should destroy the brush. The brush connects with the worst parts of us and makes them real. It lets us make beautiful things, but it also carries the darkness of every past wielder. And at this point, it's a threat to everyone in Picnic. That thing is evil and destroying it is the right thing to do. What do you think? The fight could fix it, but it's been around so long. Won't the world lose color? I feel like the fight could fix it. Every single wielder has fought corruptions, but it still has our imprints in it. If fighting back actually fixed it, then we wouldn't be in this situation. Maybe the problem will seem to go away for a bit, but then it'll come back. Probably even worse. That's why I wanted to bring this up now. It tricks us into thinking everything's okay. But it's the root of all the corruptions. And I bet the only way to get rid of them is to annihilate the source. What do you think? I don't think that's how this is all happening. But I don't know, maybe destroying the brush gives everybody the power to use their own brush. Maybe if we destroy this brush, anybody can go to the field and get a brush flower and try painting on their own. Maybe Dr. Cheese is coming up with the technology to let other people use color. Maybe we just need a fresh start with a new brush. I'm gonna do these other dialogue options. Eventually, yeah. Everything will go back to black and white again. Here, I gotta color everything in. Oh, it's so faded. And there'd be no way to fill it back. I'm not stoked about that either, but if we keep it around, people will get really hurt because of it. We have to decide if it's worth the risk. Would it be so bad to stay black and white? If it meant everything was safe? What do you think? I, th but like, I don't think that's the answer. Oh, everybody's safe. Eliminate all danger. Eliminate all bad feelings. Like, the whole point of this is confronting your bad feelings and figuring out the cause and why you're having them. And they're gonna be inside you. You're gonna find them about yourself. They're inevitable. 
but being okay with them and like coming to terms with them and your flaws and your positives and your negatives is important. I don't like that it's eliminating all these other options. Are we going to have to select that we should destroy it? Who cares how long it's been around? That doesn't make it any less evil. It just means we've been trained to accept it without questioning why. Screw that. That's not a way to make decisions. If it's hurting us, we should question why it's here. But it's hurting us and giving us immense amounts of joy. You know how many people we've made happy with this thing? After everything the brush has done to me, I want it gone. What do you think? I still think we shouldn't. It doesn't feel right even if it is dangerous. Destroying it just can't be the right answer. Not long ago, I'd have agreed with you, but I don't see another way now. You should be careful. Don't let that thing inside your head. You still got a battle to get through. Good luck, seafood. Actually, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Oh, what is it? Um, never mind. I'll ask you afterward. I should focus on the battle for now. No, that's so frustrating. Seafood, that means you better come back. I mean, I know you will. You've got this. Everyone came to lunch and to cheer for you. I promise I'll make you proud. I don't think the bad thoughts come from the brush. I think they come from within us. And the brush manifests them. But I don't think getting rid of the brush is going to get rid of the bad feelings. I don't know. Seriously, you're going to leave me hanging like that? What were you going to ask? Sorry, it's just not a good time. Well, you better not forget what it was. I won't. I'll do my best up there. Thanks for all your help, Chicory. Okay, good luck, Seafood. I taught you everything I could, and you've come so far. We're so close to the end now. Just one last push. I don't think we go in here. I think we go up. It's so zoomed in. Oh, God. The dark bramble. The roots. The corruption. Oh, it is a dungeon? Or maybe it's just the fight. Let's go see food. It's not letting me switch colors. Or swim through the color, or I can jump. Is it zooming in again? Are we lost? Is this the wind fish? Oh no. Oh no. Does the does the floor show us a path if I try to paint it? Um Hello? It's the wind fish and I don't have the password. Trees. Why is it so big in here? Are we supposed to follow these little lines? Are they always behind me? I just started going to where the trees were. I wish I wasn't so nervous. Everyone's counting on me, especially Chicory. I need to rise up to this, but... But what? You can do it. I believe in you. Oh. This is already painted? Have I already been here? 
Am I supposed to be making a trail of breadcrumbs? Oh, I'm so scared. I'm moving really slow now. Thank you for the posture check for me and for all the chat. Why am I still so nervous talking to Chicory? I should have said something. But I guess I'm most worried about letting her down. She needs me to be ready for this, and I know the trials were supposed to make me a real wielder, but even after everything, I don't feel different at all. Maybe it's because you're not. You're not real. No, I'm not. But it's still true. I, I've been afraid to ask her, but I need to know. Why did Chicory choose me to be the wielder? Did she really think at the time it was a good idea? You're asking her shadow? You already know the answer, don't you? She didn't. I... I know she really didn't. Everything happened by accident. I just got the brush because I happened to be there. Part of me still hoped that I really was special, and I just hadn't figured out how yet. But seafood, you are special. I know that's what she'd really say. It just feels as real coming from you. Oh, creepy. Oh, creepy. I thought all I ever wanted was for her to believe in me. But even if she does, I still feel like a nobody. It's because there's nothing you can do or anyone can say to change what you really are. It's not true! How come we don't have our yellow color? Oh god, it grabbed the brush! You don't deserve this brush. Never have, never will. Don't you think it's time you gave it back? Creepy! Oh my god. Huh? <gasps> what? You're awake. Seafood, are you okay? Um, we aren't sure what happened. We found you outside the tower, passed out. You must have been through so much. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Can you walk? Yeah? Oh, ow! Oh, we get a hug, Clementine! That's what we needed. Hey, buddy. Hey, Clementine. Are you gonna be okay? I don't know. I'm so sorry, seafood. Maybe it was all too much. It's totally up to you what you want to do, okay? If you want to stop now and let everyone else figure out what happens next, that's okay. You already gave so much. I love you, seafood. It's gonna be okay. I'm just glad you're still here. Hey, kiddo. Uh, Sorry about whatever happened. We all mess up sometimes, you know? It's okay, though. Promise. Your ma and I still love you no matter what. Believe me, your old man screwed up plenty of times. More times than I can remember. <laughs> That's just part of life, right? It's no big deal. I don't know that we screwed up. I don't even know what happened. Oh, good. I'm so glad you can at least move. Seafood, we were all so worried for you. And, well, we don't know where the brush is. Do you? I think it's worrying everyone quite a bit, too. I, it's... It's okay, sweetie. You don't need to stay right now if you don't want to. Take your time and rest here, but when you're ready, maybe you should go back to luncheon. Everyone's looking for the brush there, including Chicory. It might be good to speak with her. Thanks. We've been asking so much of you too much. I thought that was a repeat and it wasn't. I love you, seafood, no matter what, okay? You don't have to talk to me right now, but when you're ready, you can. Maybe some fresh air would be nice. 
Oh, I can't use my powers! And there's no music! It's so depressing! Oh my god. Oh, what do you have to say? Seafood. I heard things didn't go well. I'm sorry to hear. We've cancelled art classes for the time being. You have my best wishes. Hold a Majora's Mask. This game totally had me fooled. Oh, we're so sad. I don't want all of our colors to fade. But everything's looking pretty dim. There's a note on the bench. It says, due to seemingly apocalyptic circumstances, we have to temporarily halt transit services. We hope to have renewed service soon. We apologize for the inconvenience of picnic transit team. Wow. We have to walk slowly back. We should go get another brush from the brush place. The brush flower. Oh, we have one. Don't we have one? I never planted it. I don't even think I can get through here without my powers. Dang. Hi, Lemon. Seafood, I thought I might find you here. Everyone's looking for the brush, but... I was just getting in the way, so I came to check on you instead. You don't have a way back to luncheon, do you? I can help. Meet me one screen left and two down from here. Oh, yeah, I forget how to how to traverse the map without my powers. That's a nice thing that they put into the game. Do you take me over there on a boat? You made it. Well, here goes. I'm actually fairly adept swimmer. I can take you across if you want. Okay, hang on. Oh my god, this is so cute. What is happening? I know it's behind my camera, but this game is so, so good. I wasn't expecting any of this. I'm in awe how much it surprises me constantly, like the whole playthrough. Phew, you can head up from here to get to luncheon. I hope I was helpful. Usually I just feel like an annoyance. But I really appreciate what you've done, Seafood. I think everyone does. We all know you did your best. Everyone was just hoping you'd come back all right. Well, I'll be here. Thanks, Lemon. You're a joy. Hey, everybody. Hey, I came out here looking for the brush. Although, to be honest, I was pretty sure it wasn't actually here. I just wanted to get out of luncheon. It's real hecked up in there. Are you going back in? Yowza. You do you, I guess. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. You can't find the brush anywhere. There's such a strange, lingering feeling. Like, something fundamental is broken. It's hard to describe. Well, you must be worried enough as it is. We're here for you, seafood. Pickle's wearing our shirt. Was Pickle always wearing our shirt? Ah, uh, hey. Are you doing alright? You don't look so good. Well, nothing looks good right about now. Kind of feels like we might all die. LOL. Um, but, sorry about whatever happens. We're just doing our best, you know? I hope things get better. I genuinely do. Genuinely do. Oh, 
boy. I've been cutting down all the trees around here. Usually Beans takes care of stuff like that, but she's been busy lately with kid problems. Nice to finally get around lunch and easier though, ain't it? We're all trying to do our part to help right now. Are you doing okay, seafood? Nobody's really sure what happened yet. We're just trying to figure out together. Don't push it. Seafood, we've been looking everywhere for you. Glad you're okay. At least kinda. I tried to explain to the kids what was going on. I'm not sure they all understand, but they're all rooting for you too. Seafood, are you alright? Everyone's been worried sick about you. Be careful, okay? You don't have to do anything crazy for us. God, there's so many people to talk to. Such a relief to see you. Chicory is just ahead from here. She's been in beside herself with worry. Have a good one, Gummy. Take care. Everything is in ruins now, but you'll fix it, right? I'm sorry, seafood. I just don't know what to do. But I suppose you don't either. I know I can be a little much sometimes. I'm sorry. There you are. After you went in there, we found you unconscious outside, no brush in sight. You really spooked us. Especially Chicory. We didn't know when you'd wake up, or if you would. Your folks must have been so relieved. We're closed. What are you doing here anyway? Stay safe. I wonder if it even lets you go to other parts of the map. I guess I should have tried. We were supposed to tell Chicory the thing. We should have told her before we went up the tower. Hey. Hugs. We need to do this together too. It was a mistake to try to do it alone. I'm so sorry, Chicory. I messed everything up. The brush, it's gone. There's no way to fix this anymore. It's okay. I mean, no, it's not, but I'm glad you're okay at least. Can I ask you something? Back when you first gave me the brush, did you really think it was a good idea? Did you really choose me? No. I just wanted to be free of it. The pressure, I mean, but also the whole institution. Having to choose, having to answer to the legacy of old dead artists, having to do or be anything. I needed to knock all that stuff down for myself. So you resented that legacy. Did you choose me because I was a bad choice? Is that all I mean to you? When I said you could take the brush, you were already holding it. You had already taken it and colored and faced a corruption and made it back. You were a living example that you don't have to be chosen to be capable. Yes. You showed me a possibility I hadn't considered. And you've only come farther since then. You shouldn't need to hear why you deserved it. You already proved yourself a million times. But maybe you're missing the most important thing. What's that? Actually wanting it. I know you wanted to do it for me, but was it something you wanted for yourself? I never even asked, just forced it onto you. So I'm asking now, did you want the brush? I did. I, I really, really did. I've always wanted to make a mark on the world. I want to be someone great like that, but I never felt like I was ready. You were the first person to ever give me the chance, and I let it slip through my fingers. I feel so horrible. But I wanted it, and now that it's gone, it's like a part of me is missing. I can almost feel it. Like it's still there, right? I remember that, after being so connected to it, like I couldn't get rid of it completely. No, it... It really feels like it's still there. Like I could just... Try drawing. 
This freaking coloring book game! I know, Eric! What the heck? Let's go! Picture the feather! Picture the brush! We got this! Just one more time. We don't need a brush. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Are we growing a new tree? Go seafood, go seafood, go seafood! trying to make it grow in a good direction. I kind of made it real wiggly. I don't know how much control I have. I think some? I think plenty. Goosebumps. It's so good. Hi, Kaz. We're growing a paintbrush tree! And there's the branch. You made a brand new brush! <laughs> a brand new brush? <laughs> I'm doing so good, this game rules. What the heck? How did you... That's possible? I remembered how it felt, and I guess that brought it back. But that's not the same brush. That's your brush. Maybe for the first wielder, it was kind of the same. I... I knew what I wanted, and how it felt. Like a muscle I'd never known to use before, but... Once I did, it was there. That's incredible! Does this mean... I could try again? I can face the corruption one more time. I can still make everything right. I can do it! Seafood. Yeah, you can do it. Go and show him. Chicory, come with me. I don't think I have any of my... Oh, I do have my special powers. And more inspirational music. And more yellow peace signs. And hearts. The real trick is how do we paint the handle of our paintbrush? That is the real trick. I don't know how we do it. I can't believe it's real. Just like the one in the rainforest. I never even considered you could make another. When did you get so... I thought I was supposed to be the teacher. <laughs> I feel so left behind. When things got hard for me, I just gave up but you picked back up and kept going. I should be the one looking up to you, Seafood. I don't know if that's really fair to you, but you definitely shouldn't look up to me. I still don't really know what I'm doing. After everything we've been through, have I left that impression that I do either? If someone thinks they know what they're doing, you should honestly probably avoid them. <laughs> When I trained to be a wielder, all I was told, all I thought about, was what wasn't allowed or possible. But you don't fit the wielder model at all. You're someone who's changing all the rules as you go. And I think it's about time they change too. You got this. If that huge corruption took the brush, then I bet it's still in there. It knew we were planning to destroy it, so it's probably hiding, consolidating its power. But it might not be ready to fight another brush. It's the only shot we've got now. You've already done a million things nobody thought possible, so... I think you can do it. Good luck, seafood. This is so cool. I feel like now we get to... The future of the wielder is... 
teaching people what it feels like to wield the brush so that they can grow their own someday if they need a new wielder. How many wielders can we have at once? Or each new wielder gets to grow their own brush out of a new tree. Also, it makes me happy that I didn't do any except for two of those portraits in the art school. <laughs> Let's go! We still only get this gray color. And that's it. Oh, weird. Now we're in our room. Okay, strange. Now we're in Chicory's room. Uh, now we're in Blackberry's room. And it's real fuzzy and weird looking. Cardamom? Yep. Right? I think this is what Cardamom's room looks like. This is the one by the Wielder Temple, the first time we learned how to do these puzzles that's on the wall there. I don't know who it was before that. <gasps> Yellow. Boss fight time? Boss fight music time? Eyeball time? Ooh. We gotta fight the other brush! Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> it's pretty, but I don't think it's hurting it at all. Oh, ow. I didn't even realize that was coming, okay? Multitasking! Oop, I ran right into it. Okay, stagger, nice. Turns into me. Oh, this battle again. This one's hard. Eee, ow. Oh, my stamps! You're using my own stamps against me! Complicated. Okay, I gotta, I gotta just hang out and dodge for a minute. Nope, no dodging. Well, I like that the um, Korok seed brush is also included in this fight. I don't have it equipped. I should have. I'm fighting you with love! I'm actually not hitting you at all. I don't know why it's not working, though. Like, it's not doing the mirror thing anymore. This is 
That's so weird. I don't understand how this phase of the fight works. These things, I can get them to explode and hurt mirror me, but they don't appear all the time. Oh, there, I got you. And then we go back to this weird reverse image thing. Oh, I just melted. Okay, I feel like I remember this fight. Creepy. Ow. Ow! Oh, yay! Chigri's here to help us! I owe you a pretty big thank you, because after seeing you make one of these, I realized I could too! There's a lot I can do that I didn't think possible. Let's get it! I'm tired of feeling afraid and useless. I'm here for you this time. Let's take this thing down together. Oh, you're moving too fast for me now. I don't know where you are. Or we just do some serious dodging. Blackberry. Oh, 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 yep. I remember how this fight works. You move so quick. grids okay it's following me get her chicory oh I moved in time for that <laughs> there you go still not done Oh, oh, 
god. No, 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 no. I'll get you with love. The music is so good though. I can fight you with love. There's all the other wielders. What's it doing? I think it's reverting all the way back to its original form. It's gonna come at us with every wielder through all of history. No big deal, right? If you believe in me, Chicory, well, even if you don't, I think we can do it. We have to fight the tree! We have to fight the brush. Oof. to take you down yet. Oh, look at all those colors. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. I think I just have to wait until the opportunity. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that attack is beautiful. It looks just like a flower. Oh, I'm gonna die. And leaves, no, feathers. Get it, Chicory, get it. I don't know if there's a way that I'm supposed to stand that helps Chicory aim better, but I think we're doing okay. Feathers. Ow. Okay. Where's my brush pointer at? This is so many things happening at once. Did we get it? Wow, that's loud. <laughs> Colorful. <gasps> Paint rain. Oh, that's so cute. We did it. Let's watch some credits. It's making all the scary trees blossom. With help of our lead artist, you! These colors need a little bit of a refresh. It got very dark in here. I can't believe we actually did it. The brush is gone forever. Um, now that we've actually done it, do you think it's okay? It seems like kind of a big deal. That thing wasn't so special. 
If we both made new brushes, then I bet anyone can. Just have to teach them. Color could be free. I think whatever happens next is good. But it's not going to be easy to teach. I barely even know how I grew a brush myself. I could help you! But maybe not right now. I need a break. I hear that. Let's just enjoy this for today. And tomorrow we can change everything. It's so cute. How come Chicory wasn't filled in with color at the end there? And the top of that tree needed to be a color, but... It just blossomed, so I think all the new blossoms are blank canvases. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Great game. I loved it. If you like paint, or coloring books, or just... Oh! Credits music! Oh, this is the mountain song! If you like... Picking colors that match with other colors and filling stuff in. Like, I don't know. It's so pleasing. Thank you, Shilohs. Eric, thank you for this game. It's amazing. You knew I would I would love it, and I did. It's so good. Everybody go play it. I should probably read the credits too and not have my eyes closed the whole ending song, but... Like, I knew this game was cute. I knew I was gonna play it someday. I didn't know it was this long. I thought it was like a really short... You know, you color stuff. One sit down and you're done with it. You kind of forgot. <laughs> well, I'm reminding you now. <laughs> And chat, courtesy of Eric, we played this. I think it was on my wish list, but it had gotten bumped down, and then um, you gifting it expedited it back to the top of the list, so. And I've been in the mood for wholesome games lately. Like, this is so nice. Thank you for thanking the mods. Thanks, mods. See, how come Chicory is blank now? I did a solid job. Mm -hmm. And we get to see all these screens that I filled in throughout the playthrough. Kickstarter backers. Thank you, Kickstarter backers. That goes so quick. I feel like this game has levels of maybe not replayability. But, like, you know how I open the game, everything, and just hang out in it? I could do that with this game and just work on filling in my map and giving it more detail. Like, to an infinite degree, right? Every screen with water, I can add waves. I can trade out my six custom colors at any time. Every screen with plants, you can color each individual plant a different color. Like, you could just go with this for years and make your finished map. And the furniture and the gardens and stuff, like the customization is a, is a whole separate game. I didn't see much but it looked cute from what I did see. It's very cute. Very well done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Special thanks. Production pets, yay! Bob and Chewy, Dobby, Dorito, Kiki, Momo, Moxie, Widow, Ori, Oslo, Freya. Oh, I missed the rest. This game was made on the unceded territories of the Squamish 
Silil Watooth. I don't know how to pronounce these. That was a um, land acknowledgement. Very cool. And we're floating. We're taking a break. Look at us, just relaxing. Yes, this! You could go and fill this map in for days on end. And this is my progress! This is my journey! I'm so glad they did this. Because you can see when I started using the paint bucket and it gets so much more colorful. And we're missing chunks. We, um, oh, can you see it? Yeah, 88.9%. 9-7. We also, the whole entire game, Eric, I don't know if you knew this, you can make GIFs of every screen you fill in. And it'll copy and save it in a folder for you wherever you want it on your PC. This is that, but every screen on the whole map. Very cool. I want 100% it. <laughs> Now I wish I had filled in those last five squares. No, is it six? Yeah. Oh, well. I love the detail, too, because you can see the little waves in the ocean. You can probably see, yeah, you can even barely make out little peace sign stamps. Too much, the devs didn't have to go this hard. They want, they went so hard. And now we can save, speaking of. Yes, absolutely. Hang on, Windows is telling me. Where do you want to save this? And we have our colors in this screen now too. Beautiful. <laughs> this starting music is different now that we've beaten it, maybe? <laughs> Sound bite that, please. <laughs> What is it? What did it get? Ta what did it take to get Jen to do voices on her stream finally? Chicory. I don't want it to be over. Okay, but it's time. We streamed late. My pocket is heavy with pocket friends. Don't worry, they're still here on the desk with me. Oh, amazing. Thank you for watching, Chicory, and be sure to catch me live on Twitch to see my next playthrough. In the meantime, check out this playlist of some of my other clips from Chicory. Thank you to my Kofi supporters, Grey They, 8-Bit Trav, Mark C, Oracle the Great, Toon Wolf, Ginger Dog, Adam Extreme, and Semi Cortex. Thanks, humans.